Chapter 1601 Curious Maiden Translator Born to be Long Chen had just gotten near the white lake when a black light shot out at him. Long Chen snorted and caught the black light with one hand. The black light was actually an iron tentacle. Get out here. Long Chen pulled with both arms, and a huge object came out of the lake. Long Chen was dumbfounded to see that it was actually a 3,000-meter flying boat. How could there be a flying boat here? Long Chen was stunned. Was there someone like him who could bring things from the outside world into the netherworld? Just as Long Chen's guard was raised, he saw a woman on the flying boat. She seemed to be 17 or 18 and looked just as human as he did. She had a normal person's legs, black waist-length hair, bright eyes, white teeth, and a nice face. The woman pointed at Long Chen and began to cry out. Long Chen just stared blankly as he had no idea what she was trying to say. However, based on her appearance, she should be expressing anger. Can you speak the same language as me? I can't understand you, shouted Long Chen. The woman fell silent. She suddenly ran back inside the flying boat and began to randomly pat around something inside the control cabin. Is she angry? She's going to use the boat to attack me. Long Chen was befuddled. Was her temper even worse than his? Can you speak the same language as me? I can't understand you. Just as Long Chen was puzzled, a voice came from the flying boat. That voice was identical to his. She had actually recorded what he had just said. The woman began to press even more buttons. She suddenly said, Wait, wait a moment. Long Chen jumped. She was actually speaking the same language as him. However, the way she spoke was still very strange and tough to understand. At this time, the woman began to be covered in runes. After a moment, those runes vanished. The woman once more jumped out. Long Chen was about to smile and greet her when she pointed at him and shouted, You evil person! How dare you barge into my territory? Do you believe me when I say I can turn you to dust with a single thought? Just now she hadn't known how to speak his language, and now she learned it instantly. Her words were now very clear and articulate. If it weren't for what had happened just before, Long Chen would believe that she came from the martial heaven continent as well. I don't believe you. Your bragging is a bit too much. Long Chen shook his head because he didn't sense any danger from her. More importantly, he didn't sense any hostility. You, how brazen, do you know who I am? demanded the woman. I really don't. Then let me tell you, I am the Nithurgad's direct subordinate, one of the nine great guards of the Nine Springs, and this region is my domain. You've barged into my domain, so tell me, how do you want to die? shouted the woman, looking down on him. You sound quite amazing based on your title, said Long Chen. But of course, I am the one in control of this place. Killing you doesn't take any effort from me. Ah, since you don't understand the Netherworld's rules, just answer a few questions from me, and I won't kill you. Long Chen frowned. Long Chen was also a conman, and he had great talent when it came to this regard. After many years of conning others, he felt like she was now trying to con him. However, he didn't expose her. Instead, he nodded. All right, I can answer your questions. The woman snorted. HMPH, what's with that way of speaking? Aren't you afraid I'll kill you? I've lived for 3,000 years, and I've killed countless people. I crawled out of a mountain of corpses and sea of blood. The woman was clearly very dissatisfied with Long Chen's tone. That was because from start to now, he had yet to reveal the slightest fear. That made her uneasy. Amazing. Go ahead and ask then. Speaking of which, how old are you again? Asked Long Chen. Me? I'm 18 hey. I'm the one asking questions here. Raged the woman. Long Chen, this crafty old fox, had launched a sudden sneak attack that instantly exposed her real age. As for being 3000 years old, that was pure nonsense. Don't get mad. I was just asking randomly. I'm a very well behaved, bashful person to be honest. I've never killed anyone but I'm not afraid of death. People told me that once a person dies, they'll ascend into the immortal realm and live a carefree life. If you want to kill me, then kill me, said Long Chen indifferently. Who told you that? They were lying. When a person dies, things become much worse for them. That's why people have to live properly while they're alive, said the woman. Ah, 
So they were all lying? How evil. When I get back, I'll definitely make them pay for that. Miss, you really are the best. You're so beautiful and kind. Speaking of which, I still don't know your name, said Long Chen. I'm you bastard. Who's asking the questions here? Me or you? Raged the woman just as she was about to state her name. If you have questions, then just ask. You weren't saying anything. So if I also didn't say anything, it would be awkward. Long Chen shrugged innocently. The woman's chest was constantly heaving from rage. Speaking of which, although she was rather lithe and had a pure face, the scale of her chest wasn't small. It could just barely be counted as causing surging waves. I'm asking the questions right now. What's your name? She demanded. Long Chen. Long Chen's reply was short and direct. His name had yet to reach the point of being able to shake hell just yet. Where are you from? I suppose the east. What is the east supposed to mean? It seems you come from some tiny place. Which world are you from? Yesterday. You. You don't even know this. Then which star field are you from? What's a star field? Long Chen looked at the woman in shock. Now he wasn't acting. Just where was this woman from? Fine. I get it. You're just a rookie and know nothing. You can leave then. I have to keep gathering cough. I have to go into seclusion. I'll spare you this time. The woman waved her hand in a shooing motion. All right. Then I'll go first while you busy yourself. This water's so hard to gather. How much have you gotten? Asked Long Chen. Just a bit the woman had gone a bit absent-minded after shooing off Long Chen. It was unknown what she was thinking, but she randomly answered Long Chen's random question. However, her expression quickly changed, and she glared at him, only to see a naughty smile. Bastard, you are provoking the grand. All right, little Connor, don't think you can fool the old Connor. Your Tao is still shallow. When it comes to duping people, it takes hard work and experience. Someone like you with no foundation, no technique, and no plan is just embarrassing the art of conning, said Long Chen. I'm not a conner. You're the conner, raged the woman. Well, whatever. You're here for the white water, and I'm here to gather it too. Why do you have to force me away? Do you think you can gather this whole lake by yourself? Don't be so stingy, said Long Chen. TCH. I'm the one who got here first. You charged into my territory. How can you be so unreasonable raged the woman, puffing out her chest righteously. I'm unreasonable? Fine, you're right. This place is yours. Go ahead and slowly gather as much as you can. I'll switch to another place, said Long Chen. It wasn't as if he wanted to be enemies with her. Although this woman had tried to con him, she had never had an urge to kill him. He wasn't so narrow-hearted as to fight against her over this. Long Chen refused to believe that she could gather all the water of this giant lake. HMPH, your boat isn't even as large as mine. Even if you packed it full with water, how are you going to bring it away? Demanded the woman disdainfully. Long Chen almost laughed. Why did it feel like she was looking down on him just because his boat was smaller? Long Chen looked down at his small, shabby boat and then at her large flying boat. He supposed it did look a bit shameful. Ignoring her. He went around this region and entered the White Lake from a greater distance. When he entered the White Region, his boat directly sank into the water along with him. He had forgotten that life and death were opposing attributes. There was no way his small boat made of the soil of death could float on this water of life. Seeing him fall into the water, the woman laughed at him. Fortunately, this water was filled with life energy and didn't harm him. What vast life energy. However, I can't absorb it. Long Chen's expression changed. Hey, do you not know how to swim? If you beg me, I won't let you drown, said the woman. Long Chen ignored her. He was sensing the rhythm of life within this white water. Its rhythm was completely different from a human's, and there was no way to use it to heal injuries. This water was useless to him. After all his trials to get here, he found that this water was useless to him. He almost shed a tear. Hey, isn't it just water? Don't cry. I can give you a bottle. You can bring it back and raise some grass and flowers. Laughed the woman. She slowly sent her flying boat over to him. A chain came out of it for Long Chen to climb on. Raising grass and flowers? Could it be? Long Chen suddenly laughed. Thanks for the reminder a large vortex appeared behind him. 
and the water of the White Lake was sucked in rapidly. Chapter 1602 Both Sides Profiting Translator Born to be a pillar of white water was pouring into Long Chen's primal chaos space. It rained down on the world trees. During this time, the world trees had grown to 12,000 meters. However, the larger they were, the slower they grew. After reaching 12,000 meters, if he didn't focus on circulating the primal chaos bead, he wouldn't be able to sense them growing at all. At this size, the world trees were able to provide him with a huge amount of life energy. The entire primal chaos space was filled with them. The world trees were able to give him enough life energy that he wasn't afraid of being injured at all. However, this was far from their limit. Their limit was several times this height. The larger the world trees grew, the more life energy they contained. However, that also meant it would take more energy for them to grow. Long Chen estimated that if he spent day and night circulating the primal chaos bead, he would be able to nourish the world trees to their limit in around 10 years. If he didn't intentionally circulate the primal chaos bead, then it would take a thousand years. However, Long Chen didn't have even a year to focus on doing this. He couldn't even squeeze out a month. He had no time to focus on nourishing the world trees. However, the white water was able to nourish them, allowing them to rapidly grow. In just a few breaths time, they reached 15,000 meters. Long Chen was delighted. There was no way for him to directly absorb this white water, but seeing that the world trees could absorb it, it meant that this white water was a priceless treasure to him. As Long Chen crazily absorbed the white water, the woman's eyes grew larger, and she covered her mouth. This white water here could not be directly absorbed. She had managed to obtain a special flying boat that could enter the water and collect it. However, its gathering speed was measured in drops. She had already been here for a while and only managed to gather a dozen bottles of it. In truth, offering Long Chen a bottle just now had been extremely generous of her. Hey, if you're so amazing, can you get me some too? Asked the woman. No problem. Long Chen smiled. In any case, this water didn't belong to him, and this woman wasn't bad. Although she had mocked him before, her offer to give him a bottle of it was a rare show of kindness in the cultivation world. Suddenly, the world rumbled. A sensation of danger filled Long Chen's heart. The woman's expression also changed. She looked around, terrified. The nine lakes were all trembling as a terrifying pressure descended. Long Chen hastily stopped absorbing the water. Once he stopped, the pressure slowly faded. I've reached the limit? It won't let me take any more, wondered Long Chen. He looked at the world trees inside the primal chaos space. They had grown to 24,000 meters. How could this be? It doesn't let others take too much, asked the woman. I don't know either. When I was taking the black water, I ran into the same thing, said Long Chen. You even took the deaf spirit water, exclaimed the woman. Only now did Long Chen learn that the black water was called deaf spirit water. Didn't you want this black water? Take out a storage device and I'll give you some, said Long Chen. The white water had rained down on the primal chaos space. It was quickly absorbed by the soil. Now the only bits remaining were some droplets on the leaves of the world trees. Here, here, the woman hastily gave Long Chen a translucent bottle. Looking at this bottle, Long Chen was dumbfounded. It was only the size of a fist. It was so small that he looked at her curiously. This bottle is made of special material. Other storage devices wouldn't be able to bring this life spirit water out of the netherworld, she said helplessly. All right then. Long Chen took the bottle she gave him into the primal chaos space. Just the droplets on a single leaf were enough to fill them completely. He handed over a hundred bottles back to the woman. She immediately smiled brightly. Thank you. Although you look very fierce and not like a good person, your heart's not bad thanked the woman as she gently caressed the bottles. If you removed the first half, I'd feel more moved, said Long Chen speechlessly. He, who asked you to look so fierce? You look like such a bad person. Come have a seat on my flying boat. The woman brought Long Chen onto the flying boat. Its interior was not bad, but what made Long Chen curious was that while its exterior was similar to the flying boats of the Martial Heaven continent, its interior was completely different. The shape and designs of the interior were things he had never seen before. 
the control panel in particular was covered in various characters that he didn't recognize at all. He sat down on a soft chair. There was a tea set in front of him, and the woman sat on the other side of the table, facing him. She was still holding the small bottles with a satisfied smile. He, this time I have really profited. I spent all my savings to rent this flying boat, but this life spirit water is enough to get a huge return on that investment. It'll be enough for my tuition, laughed the woman. Your tuition, asked Long Chen. Ah, just don't ask about that. I'm not from the same plane as you, and you wouldn't understand my explanation either way. Fortunately, this flying boat had some special functions, allowing me to communicate with you. Otherwise, we wouldn't even be able to understand what the other was saying. Speaking of which, what kind of ancient place do you come from? Based on what the flying boat says, your language is extremely old. Theoretically, no one in existence should still be using such a language, said the woman curiously. It's hard for me to answer that question. I don't even know how to describe where I live. Even if I said the name, you wouldn't recognize it. I don't even know what a star field is, said Long Chen. Long Chen was sure that he was a frog at the bottom of a well now. The world was far larger than he had imagined. The Martial Heaven continent was just a speck of dust within the cosmos. That's too bad. Once we leave, we'll probably never see each other again. Originally, I was hoping to repay you for this favor once I finished my studies, said the woman sadly. It's fine. I'm not in the habit of forcing people to repay me favors. How fast can this flying boat of yours cross the lakes? Asked Long Chen. Pretty fast. A single lake should only take a dozen breaths said the woman. A dozen breaths? Long Chen was shocked. It seemed this flying boat really was something good. Do you want to get more life spirit water? Asked Long Chen. Of course I want to, but it can only be taken out with these special bottles. My bottles are already full. As long as you want it, we can cooperate. My guess is that the life spirit water and death spirit water must be balanced to maintain an equilibrium between life and death. Just taking one breaks the equilibrium and touches the rules here. However, if we take both continuously, we should be able to get more. If you're willing to test it, you bring your flying boat and I bring my abilities. And I guarantee your profits will increase by at least 10,000 times. 10,000 times? Are you sure you're not conning me? Asked the woman suspiciously. I do con people often, but I wouldn't con a child like you. Don't worry about it. All right, I'll trust you. In any case, this doesn't have any drawbacks for me, said the woman, sending the boat back toward the Black Lake. What startled Long Chen was that the flying boat's speed seemed very slow, but it seemed to break through space. They reached the Red Lake in just a moment. Furthermore, even when going through the Blue Lake, the terrifying ice chi was completely blocked by the flying boat. Long Chen sighed inside. The world was truly large. Just this flying boat was incomprehensible to him. If he could let Guo Ran take a look at this flying boat, he would go crazy. For Long Chen though, he was more interested in this woman. Her cultivation base revealed fluctuations similar to a Yuan spirit but also a bit different. However, the two of them weren't friends, so it wasn't convenient for him to ask her what her origin was. They quickly arrived at the edge of the Black Lake. My flying boat can easily go through the other regions, but the only exception is this black lake. My flying boat can't be touched by this death spirit water, said the woman. Long Chen nodded. He took out his black little boat and began to collect the black water again. He also didn't extract too much at once. Instead, he collected it slowly as a test. As expected, his guess was correct. After gathering the life spirit water, he was able to gather more of the death spirit water. With this confidence, he continued gathering more. It wasn't long before the world began to rumble once more. Long Chen immediately stopped. He returned to the white region with the woman's boat and gathered the life spirit water. After 10 trips, Long Chen's world trees had reached their limit. They were a true, towering forest now. As for the black soil, there was now a giant black lake inside it. That was all death spirit water. Long Chen didn't disappoint the woman. He pasted the spatial runes within the primal chaos space onto her special bottles, increasing their interior space. 
They could now hold tens of thousands of times more life spirit water than before. The woman almost went crazy with joy. After gathering so much life spirit water, she hesitated and then suddenly asked, I know somewhere that will definitely have treasures. Are you interested? Chapter 1603 The Core Region of the Nine Springs Translator Born to be if there are treasures, then I'm definitely interested. However, aren't you afraid of me killing you and taking the treasures all for myself when the time comes? Asked Long Chen. At first, this girl had intentionally acted big toward Long Chen. However, later on, her hostility had faded. Although Long Chen wasn't afraid of her, he couldn't go somewhere unknown without making things clear first. Who wouldn't want a free meal? He didn't want to be devoured by this girl. He, you wouldn't. You have the spiritual mark of the butterfly spirit race on your hand. That means you're a good person and wouldn't kill me. Furthermore, you shouldn't look down on me. I'm not so easy to kill. The woman pointed to the back of Long Chen's hand. If it weren't for the mark of the butterfly spirit race, then do you think I'd work with you considering your fierce face? So that was the case. However, did he really have such a fierce face? Long Chen touched his face. He had never felt himself to look so fierce. He thought his looks actually weren't bad. Don't think you can cover up your heart so easily. You've killed many people, and you can't conceal it. Back in the day, I was also a very handsome dragon. But after killing so many creatures, ah, fuck, whatever, said the evil moon. Killing too much results in your appearance changing? I don't believe you, said Long Chen. I also didn't believe it, but reality proves it. Those who kill too many people start looking fierce. You've killed so many people from the corrupt path. Don't they all look that way, said Evil Moon. That couldn't be right. The people they killed were all innocent, and so they accumulated resentment. However, when Long Chen killed people, he always kept his conscience clean. It was definitely because he had been under too much pressure these days. Yes, that had to be why his appearance looked so fierce. Little sister. Long Chen put on a smile and did his best to speak warmly. The woman jumped in shock and hastily retreated. Your smile is so sinister. Can you not smile like that? I'm afraid. Ha ha ha. Long Chen's smile stiffened. While Evil Moon's heartless laughter rang out in his mind. Making him want to slap it. Seeing Long Chen's expression sink. The woman laughed. I'm just teasing you. Who asked you to con me at the start? Now we're even. So he had actually fallen for the teasing of a girl. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. After that joke, she became even friendlier with Long Chen. She introduced herself as Zikiankian. She came from a region called the Aldeville Starfield. The Aldeville Starfield? Have you heard of the Aldeville race? Asked Long Chen. Surprised. You know about the Aldeville race? Asked Zikiankian. Just as surprised as Long Chen. Long Chen immediately said that he had encountered one of them in a minor world. He described its appearance. That truly is one of the bastards of the Aldeville race. The majority of the Aldeville Starfield has been taken over by them, which is of course where it gets its name. Those despicable bastards slaughtered countless people. We're their enemies. And my parents. They. They were killed by them. Tears dripped down her cheek without her knowing it. Long Chen didn't know how to console her. He could only silently listen. Zikiankian wiped away her tears and continued. That happened three years ago. My parents died in battle. While they were still alive, all the relatives did their best to curry favor with them. But after they died, they immediately showed me their true selves. They were doing their best to win favor with me in order to get my parents' wealth. HMPH. I knew what kind of people they were from the start. So I sold off all my parents' assets and left my household. I'm going to become strong and become a grand warrior capable of avenging my parents. That's why I want to study at my Starfield's strongest academy. However, I can't afford their tuition. So I bet everything on renting this special flying boat in hopes of getting a high return when I attack the life and death realm. Oh, that would be your nether passage realm. Long Chen, I really need to thank you. This life spirit water should be enough for my tuition. Even if it's not enough, I should be able to make up the difference through other means. Long Chen nodded. He really had misjudged her. 
He had thought that this woman had come out to play since she belonged to some powerful family with amazing treasures. Just like he had his own difficulties, she had hers as well. Admirable Long Chen gave her a thumbs up along with some sincere praise. A confused girl who had come out of nowhere was actually someone who relied only on herself to charge her way forward, betting her life in the netherworld. Such a person was worthy of respect. Long Chen, I've told you my experiences. Can you tell me yours? Otherwise, I'll have lost out, said the woman. For her to still be able to joke with Long Chen showed that her heart was still full of sunshine. Me, Long Chen was startled and shook his head. I don't have any good stories. I have a father, a mother, and a little sister, all living very well. When I was little, I had a carefree life. When I got older, I had to bear more responsibility, so I was busier. A few friends like to mess around with me, so we scuffle all day. Some hills form, some little streams flow, but I have to say, it's very lively. Long Chen put it very lightly. The mountains of corpses and rivers of blood that flowed from his battles had been turned into tiny scuffles. Zi Kiankian didn't manage to hear that aspect of his words and thought that he really did live happily, making her a bit envious. Kiankian, what is the butterfly spirit race? asked Long Chen. The butterfly spirit race is a kind race but also a very powerful one. They have immense power, and their illusion arts are especially terrifying. Within the same realm, practically no one can resist them. However, they have a fatal weakness, which is fire. That's why they reside in water spirit worlds, as there's no fire element that can threaten them there. However, this information is just things that I've heard. I've never encountered anyone from the butterfly spirit race. However, I know they're pure-hearted. They practically never mark others, and those they do are all good people. That's why I'm willing to work together with you. You might not even realize that when you circulate your energy, a butterfly mark flashes on your hand. With that advice, Long Chen looked down to see an almost imperceptible mark on his hand. It was a butterfly that was slowly flapping its wings. Hopefully, it didn't stay once he returned. There was no way for him to explain this. Where are those treasures you mentioned? Don't worry, no matter how many there are, I'll split them evenly with you, promised Long Chen. I guarantee there are treasures. When I was collecting the life spirit water, I got curious and went deeper to see where the nine springs gather. There are countless precious stones there with frightening fluctuations. The suction there is also very powerful, so I didn't dare to go. I'm just wondering if you have any method of handling it, said Zikiankian. As long as the treasures are good enough, even if there's no way to obtain them, I have to think of some way to do so. Let's go have a look. Long Chen's eyes began to shine. The whirlpool of the nine lakes flowed down in a waterfall and then flowed back up. That was where the nine springs gathered. The only possibilities were that there would be no treasures, or whatever treasures there were had to be stunningly precious. Zikiankian controlled the flying boat, having it descend in the white lake. As it descended, countless runes lit up on the flying boat, blocking the white water. Long Chen's world trees had already grown to their limit, so he didn't need to gather more of it. If he continued gathering it, then based on his experience, it would transform into the divine life elixir. However, he didn't dare to gather more. The final few times he had collected the life spirit water and death spirit water, he hadn't been able to get much at all before the world had started shuddering. That meant that he had already reached a kind of limit. Taking any more would very likely cause trouble. The two of them were descending deeper and deeper. Long Chen estimated that this place might be even deeper than the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. However, despite the immense pressure, the flying boat was fine. It really is worth spending all your savings on renting. This flying boat is a priceless treasure, sighed Long Chen. Zi Kiankian shook her head. In truth, this flying boat isn't that amazing. It's not a fighting flying boat. However, it is made of special nether iron and isn't rejected in the netherworld, which is what allows it to enter and what makes it so precious. Zikiankian was a bit vexed. The flying boat clearly hadn't been as amazing as she had thought when she had rented it. If she hadn't encountered Long Chen, then who knew how long it would have taken her to fill up those bottles of hers? Furthermore, something had happened to her bottles and that had caused the space inside them to shrink. 
They had lost effect once she had come to the netherworld. Once she returned, she would definitely have to settle the bill with the person who had rented them to her. Long Chen sighed and sighed. As expected, the outer world was truly mysterious. Such an amazing flying boat was viewed as rubbish by Zi Kiankian. He truly felt like a frog at the bottom of a well. The flying boat was still descending. A general image appeared in Long Chen's head. The Nine Springs formed a circular sea, with the whirlpool at the center and the gates of hell at the bottom. However, despite the gates of hell being located not far from the bottom of the Nine Springs, they weren't actually the bottom of the Nine Springs. That was completely incomprehensible. Everything was white as they descended. However, after a while, intense fluctuations came from below, and the flying boat began to shake. Look, that's the core of the Nine Springs. Zi Kiankian carefully controlled the flying boat as she pointed in a certain direction. Chapter 1604 Blood Essence Stone Blood Soul Stone Translator Born to be Long Chen looked at where Zi Kiankian was pointing and saw a nine-colored whirlpool that had a large black hole in its center. When he saw the red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, violet, black, and white colors intertwining, he suddenly felt the nine-star hegemon body art form an indescribable resonance with it. It began to circulate on its own, and the five-star battle armor almost activated. Will the nine-star hegemon body art follow these nine colors as well? The first five stars caused the divine ring to become red, orange, yellow, green, and azure. Nine stars, nine springs. Is there some kind of connection? But why do I feel like that's not entirely right either? wondered Long Chen. He felt the nine-star hegemon body art react to the gathering of the nine springs, but there also seemed to be something different about them. One was a dragon, one was a snake. They looked similar but were completely different species. This feeling was indescribable. To sum up, this feeling was simply very strange. Long Chen, do you have any way to get those crystals on the ground? Seeing that Long Chen was staring blankly, Zi Kiankian thought he was stunned by the sight, so she pulled his attention to the treasures. Only then did Long Chen recover. Now, they were even closer to the whirlpool, and the flying boat was constantly shaking. There was a huge twister where the nine streams gathered. It was roaring like a dragon. If someone were to be sucked into that twister, they would probably be instantly torn to pieces. However, not far from there, there was a plot of land that had been eroded for countless years. Many crisscrossing and deep ditches were present on it. The deep ditches revealed large crystals at the bottom. Each of them was several meters long, and they came in different colors. The flying boat is unable to get any closer. Otherwise, we might get sucked into the core, said Zikai Ankian. This was the limit. However, even at this distance, the closest white-colored crystal was several miles away. Her flying boat was not a combat flying boat. Its projectile range was limited. She could only look at those crystals but not obtain them. Long Chen sank into thought. He waved his hand, and a flying hook appeared with a long chain at the end. This was a corrupt weapon. He didn't even remember its usage. Just now, he had randomly seen it while flipping through the primal chaos space. He threw it out. Its chain was very long and flexible. It quickly reached the first crystal. However, that was when a problem occurred. The suction force was too great, and it caused the hook to be drawn over. There was no way for it to land on the crystal. Zikai Ankian was watching anxiously. If Long Chen could succeed, they would make a terrifying profit. Long Chen snorted and swung his arm. The claw whipped away from the hurricane and wrapped around a portion of the exposed crystal like a python. Long Chen pulled and the crystal was slowly torn out of the ground. In the end, Long Chen managed to obtain it. When the white crystal landed on the flying boat, Zi Kiankian let out a cheer. This should be a life spirit crystal. There's immense life energy inside. If placed in water, it would create a pool of life spirit water in just a few years. Long Chen nodded. This life energy could be useful to him, but not that useful. He couldn't wait for years. Let's put it away for now and get some more. We'll split them in the end, said Long Chen. All right. Zi Kiankian was incredibly excited. She hadn't expected Long Chen to have this much ability. He was actually able to bring so many things from the outside world into the netherworld. This time, 
the crystal Long Chen pulled over was a blood red one. It was a bit demonic and looked like there was blood flowing inside it. However, with the crystalline exterior, it was impossible to sense the fluctuations on the inside. Let me appraise it. Zikiankian placed it on a strange device of her flying boat. Dozens of tentacles stuck onto the crystal, and various runes revolved around it. Characters that Long Chen couldn't understand appeared on the control panel. This is a blood soul stone. A normal blood soul stone will be considered top grade if it reaches a soul energy level of 8,000 points. However, this one has reached 3 million soul energy points. Heavens, how shocking. Zikiankian was completely stunned by its energy readings. Is it useful? Asked Long Chen. This blood soul stone is one of the products of my Aldeville Starfield. The ancient battlefields between the human race and the Aldevil race result in two kinds of crystals. The Aldevil race's blood essence and souls are very powerful, and once they're killed, their corpses will gradually condense these kinds of crystals after tens of thousands of years. Those crystals are split into two kinds, blood essence stones and soul stones. Both crystals are priceless treasures that can upgrade the power of a person's physical body or soul. My guess is this blood soul stone is the result of those monsters on the bridges from when you first enter the netherworld. They're gathering all that energy to condense these stones, said Zikiankian. Yes, I saw them too. Now that you say that, why is it that we would all advance together here if we aren't on the same planes? Asked Long Chen. This was something he had been very curious about, and now he was reminded of it. I'm not sure. According to ancient records, this world is not a complete world, and the laws are chaotic. According to reason, each region should be operating according to its own functions. However, I saw all kinds of life forms I've never seen before upon coming here. I don't know why either, said Zikiankian. She continued, All right then, don't interrupt again or I'll lose my train of thought. That monster you just mentioned, it kills those roaming souls and the experts who attack them inserting their blood and souls into the orbs on the bridge. Through my own observation, I found that the energy they're absorbing slowly fades away, and there's no way to tell where it's going. However, based on this blood soul stone, I've started to form a hypothesis. According to reason, even in the life and death realm ah, that is the nether passage realm, people do not have such powerful souls. There must be some kind of law present that is further purifying their essence to condense these blood soul stones. If a cultivator were to absorb such a thing, they would be able to upgrade their Yuan spirit a second time. It could be said that they are heaven-defying treasures. Unfortunately, the Aldeville Starfield's human race doesn't specialize in physical strength or spiritual strength. Otherwise, we'd have long since defeated the despicable Aldeville race. If you don't have talent in regards to the physical body or the spiritual body, how do you fight back at all? Asked Long Chen. Naturally it's with our wits. We've created many powerful weapons, flying boats, sets of armor, warships, and other treasures that can increase our power by hundreds or thousands of times. With defensive structures and the skills of our craftsmen, we can use various natural resources to create divine items. Regretfully here. Zikiankian's expression became angry and distressed. Regretfully, while it's possible to defend against the frightening Aldevil race, it's the enemies that lie beside us that we can't defend against. Or perhaps it's more accurate to say it's impossible to defend against their greed. In the past few centuries, we've been constantly losing to the Aldevil race, not because we aren't strong enough, but because our commanders are all a bunch of useless pieces of garbage. They are all geniuses, but they only go to the battlefield to dredge up profits for themselves. In truth, their abilities are inferior to even dog shit. If they were just dog shit, then that would be something. But despite being amateurs, they have to act like experts. Most hateful of all, they're supported by powerful idiots who clearly know the battle plan is wrong. But instead of punishing them, they blame the fighters. My parents died because of them. That's why I chose to attend the best academy. I'm not only going to kill the Aldevil race's monsters, but I'll also be cleaning up our human race's degenerates. I wish you luck. In the end, all Long Chen could say was such a thing. He didn't have high hopes for her. Based on what she said, 
the Aldeville Starfields human race was also a group of greedy degenerates, a force that was rotten to that extent couldn't be saved. It was no different from the Martial Heaven continent. Long Chen had never even had a thought to try and draw everyone into the righteous path, nor had he ever thought about erasing the greed and wickedness in the hearts of the righteous path. That was because he was well aware of his own capabilities, and such a task was impossible for him, let alone him. It was impossible even for a god. If gods really could do such a thing, then everyone's faiths would be united. However, because there were so many differences of opinion, there were just as many different faiths. If such a thing was possible, these faiths wouldn't be contradictory and ignite conflict after a battle. Or perhaps this was just the Tao, the merciless and cruel Tao. Long Chen continued grabbing the crystals. He obtained seven of the life spirit crystals and nine of the blood colored crystals. Through Zikai Ankian's appraisal, she determined that of those nine blood colored crystals, three were blood essence stones and three were blood soul stones. Zikai Ankian didn't need those, because the Aldeville Starfield already had them. In fact, they had so many that they had to come up with ways to sell them to other starfields. Other than needing to get through the layers of blockades of the Aldeville race, they also had to pay a high transportation fee. Their profits weren't very high. As a result, the blood-colored crystals went to Long Chen, while the life spirit crystals went to Zikai Ankian. However, Zikai Ankian didn't have anywhere to store them. She had no choice but to pour out the life spirit water in her bottles and put the life spirit crystals inside. That aggrieved her, but there was nothing she could do. On the other hand, Long Chen simply sucked them into the primal chaos space. The surrounding crystals were quickly pulled out. There were more ahead, but they were too close to the core, making the two of them not dare to approach. They began to slowly roam the outer regions, looking to get some more crystals. However, the hurricane at the core rapidly expanded. It came without any warning at all. Run. Long Chen's expression changed, and he hastily pushed Zikai Ankian to send the flying boat running. However, the flying boat had just started moving when a terrifying suction force came over them. The flying boat began to fly toward the hurricane out of their control. Chapter 1605 Sucked into the Whirlpool Translator. Born to be not good. Put away the flying boat. Shouted Long Chen. The flying boat was too large. If they put it away, perhaps they might have some hope of escaping. Zikai Ankian was panicking and she hastily slammed a button on the flying boat's control panel. The flying boat instantly transformed into a ray of light that entered Zikai Ankian's head. The image of a flying boat appeared on her forehead. Once the flying boat vanished, they instantly felt a terrifying suction force. They began to fly into the twister in the sky. Grab hold of me, shouted Long Chen. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, as it was heavier than a mountain. The two of them immediately dropped to the ground. Long Chen stabbed Evil Moon into the hard rock all the way to the hilt. He just barely managed to stabilize himself. Zikai Ankian held on tightly to Long Chen's waist, but her body was already being pulled into the air. That suction force was too terrifying. Hold on tightly. I can bring you out, called out Long Chen. At this moment, it was like he was on the edge of a rapid waterfall. The pulling force behind him was too great. Just standing there was very difficult. Relying on Evil Moon's weight, he forcibly took a step forward. However, the ground was too flat and smooth. There was nowhere for him to get leverage. Hold on. Long Chen took a deep breath. He suddenly pulled Evil Moon out and stabbed it back into the ground as quick as lightning. This fierce movement only gained him half a foot of distance. However, that didn't discourage him. In fact, this was a good sign. As long as he could move away, the further he got from the whirlpool, the weaker its pull would be. Long Chen. I can't hold on any longer. Zikai Ankian was holding on to Long Chen as best as she could. However, her arm strength was limited. Ah. Zikai Ankian let out a frightened cry as she lost power in her arms and was sucked away by the whirlpool. Long Chen suddenly extracted Evil Moon and followed the suction force as well. Then. He grabbed Zikai Ankian's arm before stabbing Evil Moon into the ground again. Zikai Ankian was saved, but now they were hundreds of meters closer to the twister. The pull was even stronger. Furthermore, he was now holding on to Zikai Ankian with one hand. 
He couldn't use the same method he had before. The thing that made his heart grow cold was that he actually couldn't think of anything. He could only keep this position. However, if this continued, he would run out of energy sooner or later. Then they would be sucked into the twister and torn apart. Long Chen, throw her away and you'll have a chance to get out. She's just a burden, said Evil Moon. Long Chen ignored Evil Moon and looked all around. His brain was working rapidly to find some way to get out. He also knew that as long as he let go, then without the burden of an extra person, he would have a high chance of being able to get away. However, while he was no gentleman, he definitely wasn't someone who would abandon his companion in the face of danger. Fool, do you want to die with her? Raged Evil Moon. Long Chen continued to ignore it. He kicked the ground, trying to make a foothold for himself. But the ground was both tough and slippery. His kicks only caused his foot to hurt. Long Chen, let me go. Perhaps you'll be able to escape on your own, said Zi Kiankian softly as she watched Long Chen struggle. She knew that neither of them would be able to escape like this. She knew this, and she knew Long Chen knew it as well. I'm grateful you didn't abandon me, but it's your only choice, said Zi Kiankian helplessly. Long Chen shook his head. There's always a way. Don't panic. It's useless. If you wait any longer, you'll use up too much energy and won't be able to even save yourself. Thank you. I'm happy to have met you before dying. Light suddenly shone from Zi Kiankian's arm. Long Chen was startled as Zi Kiankian actually slid from his hold. That energy was strange. It was not physical or spiritual energy, but it made it so he couldn't grab hold of her arm. Are you joking? I've never abandoned a companion. Let's have a look at what's inside the whirlpool. Long Chen suddenly pulled Evil Moon out of the ground. The two of them began flying toward the whirlpool. Are you crazy? Two voices rang out at the same time. One was Zi Kiankian's, while the other was Evil Moon's that rang out in his mind. Zi Kiankian's voice was full of shock, while Evil Moon's voice was full of rage. Long Chen held on to Zi Kiankian's waist and didn't reply. With Evil Moon in his right hand, he stared closely at the nine-colored twister. Long Chen's thoughts were definitely not calm at this time. He didn't even know what he was thinking. It wasn't as if he had a relationship with Zi Kiankian. Why did he have to be so stupid as to throw himself into danger? It had just been a kind of instinct. He didn't know if it was because of his own sense of duty or because of the arrogance of the pill sovereign. But he couldn't abandon anyone. Even Long Chen didn't know why he would occasionally do such foolish things. Zi Kiankian silently cried as she was held by Long Chen. Ever since her parents had died, no one had ever treated her well. But Long Chen was actually sacrificing his life to accompany her. Don't be so emotional yet. There's still a long way to go before we die. Hold on to my back and hold on tight. I'm going to fight, said Long Chen. Zi Kiankian tightly held on to Long Chen. Her arms were around his neck, and even her legs were wrapped around his waist. As extra precaution, Long Chen pulled out some rope and bound her to him. That way, he didn't need to worry about her falling off. They were getting closer and closer to the twister. Its pull was so powerful that Zi Kiankian felt like she was being crushed. The majority of the pressure was being endured by Long Chen, but she was already in such a state. She clenched her teeth and forced herself to be silent, afraid that the slightest disturbance would affect him. Long Chen's divine ring appeared. The red, orange, yellow, green, and azure streams of water shook for an instant, but they quickly returned to normal. Having summoned the divine ring, Long Chen felt the pressure weaken. However, that pressure quickly grew back as they approached the twister. Long Chen's 30,000 meter divine ring seemed to be squeezed by some kind of force and was constantly shrinking. This was a scenario he had never encountered before. He understood too little about the divine ring. However, as it was compressed, its power grew greater, shocking him. Was this another possible state of the divine ring? Boom. Long Chen was finally sucked into the twister, the core of the whirlpool. He felt like the whole world was squeezing him. Zi Kiankian immediately coughed up blood. She was unable to bear the pressure. Feng Fu Star, Alief Star, Life Fate Star, Enlightenment Palace Star. Long Chen activated four stars at once, forcing back the pressure. 
This was the core of the nine colored whirlpool. Here, he saw that the water of the nine lakes was actually not water. It was composed of countless runes. There were nine types of energy clashing here, forming a pressure that could crush mountains instantly. Zikiankian coughed up blood once more. She was at her limit. Although Long Chen was forcing back the pressure and activating the first four stars had won her some breathing room, she eventually fainted. Her physical body is too weak. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. He had to focus on resisting the whirlpool. Now that he was sucked within it, he found that he was sinking. It seemed that there was an exit at the bottom. However, the pressure only grew as he sank deeper. Long Chen couldn't resist the pull. He could only slowly sink. As the pressure grew, the divine ring continued to shrink. He paid close attention to its changes because he found that it was growing stronger. Even the power of the four stars had changed in an indescribable way. Perhaps I should consider how to compress the divine ring in the future to unleash more power, thought Long Chen. When the divine ring was just 300 meters wide, Zikiankian's labored breathing rang out from behind him. The pressure was unendurable. Divine Gate Star. Long Chen's fifth star activated, and the divine ring was restored to its 30,000 meter size. The fifth star was his limit. However, the pressure was still growing greater. He could see the bottom of the whirlpool. It was a mass of darkness, like the gaping maw of a monster waiting for its prey. The divine ring once more compressed from the immense pressure. As for Zikiankian, crackling sounds rang out from her bones. Evil Moon, stop acting dead and help shouted Long Chen. Fuck off. Just wait for death. No one will help you, was Evil Moon's cold reply. Chapter 1606 Purgatory Translator Born to be stop being in such a bad mood and help. These are my principles. When you're in trouble in the future, I'll also risk my life to save you, shouted Long Chen. Scram. Your sappiness is sickening. If you were about to die, I definitely wouldn't save you, cursed Evil Moon. Although it cursed at Long Chen, black light flowed out of it and wrapped around Long Chen and Zikiankian. Little Brick, come out too. Your second rate master decided to throw away his life to pick up a girl. Hurry up and help, called out Devil Moon. The heaven flipping seal flew out as well. It was just about to grow in size when Evil Moon stopped it. Fool, if you unleash your divine power, you'll be killed by the laws of this place. Cursed Evil Moon. Can you not be so mean to the heaven flipping seal? Demanded Long Chen. The heaven flipping seal was a very obedient child and did whatever Evil Moon told it to do. However, Evil Moon went too far with its bullying. Long Chen had to support the little fellow. Evil Moon and the heaven flipping seal revolved around Long Chen's body. The heaven flipping seal's cyan light mixed with Evil Moon's black light, forming a protective barrier. Keep your power well distributed. Don't go directly against the surrounding laws. Long Chen, don't slack. We all have to work together. Evil Moon began to hand out directions. The deeper they sank, the narrower the whirlpool. By the time they were at the bottom, it was a funnel. Long Chen's expression also paled here. The five-star battle armor was reaching its limit as well. However, he had to maintain it. Without it, perhaps he would be able to survive. But Zikiankian's body would instantly be torn apart. Just as he was at his limit, they reached the bottom. They fell into endless darkness. I'm exhausted. You fool. That energy from the gourd last time was all wasted because of you. Long Chen. Tell me. Are you a pig? Cursed Evil Moon. It really couldn't understand why Long Chen would be so foolish as to almost throw his own life away to save someone he barely knew. Furthermore. The heaven flipping seal wasn't skilled enough to cooperate with Evil Moon very well, meaning it had paid 80% of its energy to protect them. Its delight at having conned so much energy from the blood gourd of the corrupt path changed into fury at having lost it all. Long Chen knew that his actions were the peak of foolishness in Evil Moon's eyes. However, in the end, Evil Moon had still helped him out so Long Chen didn't talk back. It would be fine after it vented. He returned Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal to the primal chaos space. Everything around him was pitch black, and he could feel himself slowly descending within the darkness. It was a similar feeling to when he had first come to the netherworld. After an unknown amount of time, he felt himself touch solid ground.
he opened his eyes and activated his sixth sense. Through his sixth sense, he managed to see his surroundings. It was a ruined palace. He didn't know if it was because he was too small, but he felt like an ant in a giant's lair. Based on his estimate, this palace was dozens of kilometers high and hundreds of kilometers wide. The place he had landed was on two open hands. The owner of those hands was a giant statue. The statue wasn't standing but kneeling on the ground. Its hands were outstretched before it, as if it was begging for charity. Long Chen calmly sat on the two hands and slowly recovered his energy. Using the five-star battle armor was extremely taxing on him. As he calmly recovered, he examined Zi Kiankian's injuries. She had lost a grave amount of essence blood. However, when he used spiritual strength to examine her mind C, he was comforted to find that although her energy was strange to him, she was able to absorb his spiritual strength to aid in her recovery. Just as Long Chen was helping Zi Kiankian recover, an angry roar came from the distance, causing him to jump. He saw the palace gates open. A dozen figures entered while dragging a large body. Those figures weren't large. In fact, they were even smaller than Long Chen. They seemed to be dwarves. They each had a hawk's nose and a monkey's face, as well as black hair on their backs. Other than that, they were no different from humans. They held strange blades in their hands. They were three foot long triangular blades. Although they were extremely far, Long Chen could sense that those strange blades were very terrifying. The dwarfs were pulling a magical beast. The magical beast was 300 meters long and had barbs all over its body. It looked to be an alligator, but it had fur it was roaring miserably. Long Chen hid himself and looked around carefully. He saw that the dwarfs were also holding chains that were stabbed through the magical beast's body. Creepy laughter came from them, and it gave him a chill. Based on their appearance, they seemed very happy. The dwarves pulled the magical beast directly in front of the statue, causing Long Chen to jump. If they came over, he would instantly be exposed. However, the dwarves stopped right before the statue. The ground beneath them began to sink. There was actually a hidden mechanism present. The original ground sank and an altar rose. The magical beast was chained to the altar by the dwarves. What are they doing? Is it a sacrifice? Long Chen was curious. The magical beast was constantly roaring, but it was of no use. Despite clearly looking stronger than the dwarves, it could only be manipulated by them. Just as Long Chen was watching them, Zi Kiankian let out a moan as she woke. Long Chen immediately covered her mouth with his hand. Zi Kiankian was startled awake. She realized that she was in Long Chen's embrace, his hand on his mouth and his scent in her nose. She turned red. Long Chen didn't notice that as he was staring closely at the dwarves. He had yet to fully recover, and he had no confidence in winning against them if they noticed him. He sensed great danger from them. Although Zi Kiankian's voice was cut short by Long Chen and hadn't been very loud, it had still drawn their attention. The dwarves began looking in every direction. At this moment, the magical beast that they had bound to the altar let out another roar. The dwarves focused on it again. Long Chen wiped off some sweat. Zi Kiankian had really woken at the worst time. The magical beast had been briefly silent at that moment. Otherwise, she wouldn't have even drawn their attention. Long Chen suddenly felt his hand itch. Zi Kiankian was scratching his hand indicating that he could let go. Only then did Long Chen release her. Zi Kiankian looked out through the gap between the statue's fingers. Skinners. Zi Kiankian turned pale. She transmitted a message to Long Chen spiritually. Long Chen could sense her terror. Long Chen, we might have. Just at this moment, the Skinners began to wield their blades. They slowly stabbed the beast's stomach. It seemed they were about to skin it. The magical beast roared as if it was in incredible pain. However, its roars only made the dwarves laugh, as if its tormented cries were their greatest delight. We might have what asked Long Chen. He had a bad premonition. We might have arrived in purgatory. This might be the Skinner purgatory. Zi Kiankian's face was as pale as paper. Long Chen was stunned. How could that be possible? How could a good person like him end up in purgatory? In our myths. There are certain sayings about purgatory. I was curious. So I read up on those stories. There was a picture in one of those stories that looks just like these dwarves. They're called Skinners. 
They are jailers of the first level of purgatory. Their chains and skinning blades are all terrifying magical weapons. Once they stab the body, they cause indescribable pain. Their skinning doesn't just skin the body, it skins the soul as well. Have you noticed? That magical beast doesn't seem to be composed of the same substance as us. Long Chen nodded. This magical beast truly didn't seem to be in the same form as them. As its body was skinned, its blood poured out, and they could see its innards. Rumor is that once the skinners capture the spiritual body in the netherworld, they even pull in the physical body from the other world, said Zikai Ankian. Her entire body was quivering in terror. Death sometimes wasn't so terrifying. However, rumor was that once a person entered purgatory, they wouldn't die again. Instead, they would suffer endless pain. That was the real terror. Fuck. This is definitely my bad luck acting up again. HMPH. It really was vicious this time. It even brought me for a stroll through purgatory. Cursed Long Chen. Chapter 1607 Gates of Purgatory Translator. Born to be those dwarves were skillfully cutting off the magical beast's skin. Each time they made a cut, the magical beast would let out a hair-raising cry. It was clearly in immense pain. The dwarves' blades worked rapidly as they laughed sinisterly. Their movements weren't sloppy in the least. It wasn't long before all the magical beast's skin was stripped off. The dwarves pulled the pelt and examined it for something. They were speaking amongst themselves, seeming to be discussing something. They quickly left along with the pelt leaving only a bloody magical beast behind that was still crying miserably. Once the dwarves were gone, Zikai Ankian quietly said, the reason they aren't killing it is because they're waiting for it to grow back its skin so they can skin it again. Long Chen's heart shook. This was too vicious. Just skinning it once wasn't enough? They would skin it for eternity? If the life forms in purgatory were unable to die, then that magical beast's fate was truly miserable. According to the myths, the place we're in should be the first of the 18 levels of purgatory, the Skinner Purgatory, said Zikai Ankian. Her voice quivered. That magical beast's current state was about to be their future. The Skinner Purgatory? I've never heard of such a thing in my world, said Long Chen. He had heard that there were 18 levels to hell, but that was all. Who knows why? However, based on what we've seen, I'm almost 100% sure that we're in the first level of purgatory said Zikai Ankian. Then good thing it's not the 18th level. We still have a chance to get out. That's impossible. Once past the gates to purgatory, it's impossible to leave. Zikai Ankian couldn't help but cry. She was afraid. It was impossible to not be afraid in purgatory. Thinking of the pain they would suffer if the Skinners found them, she felt faint. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Everything in this world has a weakness or flaw. Even the best cage has to have a hole. There is nothing perfect in this world. So as long as we don't give up, there should be a chance to escape. Comforted Long Chen. I'm sorry, Long Chen. If I didn't suggest looking for treasures, you wouldn't have been implicated. You even had a chance to escape. But you, the two of them were just cooperating. There really had been no need for him to take the risk. But he had been willing to throw himself in here for her. Other than feeling emotionally moved, she felt terrible for bringing this upon him. You didn't implicate me. Those blood essence stones and blood soul stones are very useful to me. That's why there's the expression that man will die for riches. My Tao is called see a treasure and can't walk away. I'm used to it, laughed Long Chen. He had long since grown used to his bad luck. If he wanted to gain something, he had to risk his life. Even at this time, you can still laugh. Zikai Ankian wiped away her tears. Even at this time, Long Chen was still relaxed. That did comfort her a bit. His smile gave her the slightest shred of hope. Let's just slowly recover. Once we've pretty much recovered, we'll look around to see just how deep purgatory is. Long Chen and Zikai Ankian slowly recovered on the statue's hands. Eventually, they felt they had recovered as much as they were going to. They felt like their recovery speed had increased here but it was also difficult to sense the flow of time. The two of them had barely recovered when they heard a miserable cry. Long Chen looked out to see that those dwarves had appeared once more. The magical beast had also recovered and grown its skin out again. Its miserable cries were because the skinners had begun their work again. Skinning it, Long Chen felt a chill. 
No wonder it was said that people shouldn't do bad things while alive. This skinning torture was absolutely terrifying. Once they fell into purgatory, they would have to suffer endless pain for eternity. With his energy mostly recovered, Long Chen sensed that magical beasts aura clearer. It was at the level of an expert attacking the Nether Passage realm. However, such a powerful existence couldn't resist at all in the hands of these dwarves. In the end, its newly grown skin was stripped away, and the dwarves left once more. Once they left, Zikiankian and Long Chen jumped off the statue's hands and approached the chained magical beast. Long Chen reached out and grabbed one of the chains. He instantly felt like his body had been thrown into ice. It felt like even his soul was about to freeze. Damn, it's just as strong as the Blue Lake's ice G. But why does this magical beast not seem to react to it? Wondered Long Chen. Let's go, urged Zikiankian. I don't want to let something good get away. One of the chains was forcibly torn off by Long Chen. Despite how strong they were, they couldn't stand up to Evil Moon. You're mad. They're going to notice, exclaimed Zikiankian. Don't worry, I'll just sneak away too. These chains are very strange, and I want them. After tearing off two chains, the blood-covered magical beast that had been on its last breath suddenly let out a furious roar. What a strong baleful aura. Just how many lives did it slaughter? Long Chen could now sense the endless baleful aura coming from it. That wasn't its own energy, but the result of all the resentment of the life forms that had been unwillingly slain by it. Brother, go ahead and cry. We're leaving. Long Chen ignored the magical beast. Neither the magical beast nor the skinners were good existences. He had no urge to save it. He pulled Zikiankian out of the palace. Once they were out of the gates, they saw a long promenade. The ground and walls were pitch black and filled with an aura of death. Long Chen spread his divine sense and found that there were countless hallways that intersected. It was like a labyrinth. Even when he spread his divine sense dozens of miles out, he couldn't cover the entire labyrinth. You led the way, said Long Chen helplessly. Me, yes, my luck's very bad. If you had me led the way, the exit would probably be on the last possible route. The only possibility in this maze was to walk around blindly. They would have to draw a map as they went. Once the map was finished, they would be able to find the exit. Long Chen was so confident in his bad luck that he knew that if he didn't finish drawing the entire map, it would be impossible to chance upon the exit. All right. Zikiankian nodded and started to lead the way. The two of them were both going carefully. They saw this maze had countless palaces. Some of them were empty, and some larger ones had various life forms bound within it. They were strange life forms that Long Chen had never seen before. Wait. Long Chen suddenly grabbed Zikiankian. He scratched Evil Moon on the wall and rubbed the resulting dust onto his face and body, covering himself with the aura of death. Smart. Zikiankian followed along, covering herself in the dust. They might not have been sensed in the palace by those skinners, but they had been rather far away. There was no way to tell at what distance they would be able to sense their aura or spiritual fluctuations. The two of them continued, with Zikiankian leading the way and Long Chen recording the path they had taken. He told Zikiankian to follow the right wall and not to skip any corners. That way, they would be able to finish the map faster. As they were walking, one of the nearby palace gates opened, and Long Chen immediately pulled Zikiankian into a dark corner. Another group of skinners walked past them. At this close a distance, they realized that the skinners were even smaller than they had thought. They only reached Long Chen's waist in height. However, they each held a frightening chain and a sharp blade. Zikiankian felt like her heart was about to leap out of her chest being this close to them. Long Chen was also on high alert as they passed by ready to attack if they sensed anything. Fortunately, they were excitedly talking to each other and didn't notice that there were two people hidden in the dark. Zikiankian sighed with relief. Once those skinners passed, they continued. They encountered several more groups, but due to Long Chen's strong spiritual perception, they managed to avoid them at every turn. Eventually, they saw a giant pillar ahead of them. Countless runes were flickering like stars within it. It emitted a great pressure that caused the world to quiver. That's probably the exit, said Long Chen. 
he could see a winding staircase going up the pillar. Chapter 1608 Hating heaven and earth for not having a handle translator. Born to be the pillar was 50,000 meters wide and had a winding staircase around it. However, it was so tall that it was impossible to see its end. One could see a path going down it as well. This is probably the path up and down, exclaimed Long Chen. There were several 30-meter statues around the pillar. They had short legs and thick arms. They were incredibly lifelike, with each vein on their bulging muscles visible. It's very likely, but when we get there, we'll be instantly noticed. That place is too empty, said Zikiankian worriedly. Several skinners were roving around this region. They would definitely notice them. Long Chen sank into thought and then shook his head. We'll have to gamble. When intelligence cannot solve a problem, you can only rely on power. Long Chen slowly took out Devil Moon, a sharp light appearing in his eyes. He was like a stalking cheetah in the dark. Shouldn't we prepare more? asked Zikai Ankian. This was too dangerous. If they didn't succeed, they wouldn't get another chance. No need. I've checked the map, and this place should be the core region. Even if we waited longer, we wouldn't be able to increase our odds. I also can't stay too long in this place. But don't worry, I promise that as long as I manage to survive, you will too. Zikiankian couldn't help feeling comfort at the sight of Long Chen's firm expression. She actually believed he was speaking the truth. His confident appearance inspired confidence in others. Zikiankian nodded and took a deep breath. Just like that. The two of them began rushing toward the giant pillar. The surrounding skinners were all startled. They let out strange cries and attacked. Don't worry. Just stay beside me. Long Chen's steps didn't pause as he pulled Zikai Ankian's hand. Quick as lightning, he went past the first skinner, slashing it. The skinner instantly exploded. However, the blood mist it had exploded into slowly recondensed into its original form. Rumor is that Skinners are the jailers of this level of purgatory. As long as the Skinner purgatory isn't destroyed, they will forever revive. Called out Zikai Ankian. Two more Skinners came from the sides, as well as the original Skinner that had just reformed. Holding a chain in one hand and a triangular blade in the other, they attacked. HMPH. Revive forever? What's so amazing about that? Long Chen unleashed a huge saber image that crushed the three Skinners. They weren't particularly powerful, and their bodies were very weak. Their only strong points were their chains and blades. This time, as soon as he killed them, he waved his hand and sucked their chains and blades into the primal chaos space. I'm confiscating your cheek tools. After killing them and taking their weapons, Long Chen rushed off with Zikai Ankian. As for the three skinners he had slain, once they reformed, they didn't attack again. Instead, they began to grope around as if they were looking for their lost tools. Excellent. Without their chains or blades, they're crippled. Cried out Zikai Ankian excitedly. Long Chen smiled faintly and didn't reply. Based on his experience, things definitely wouldn't go this simply. Long Chen killed all the skinners that blocked his path and quickly took their weapons. However, his fighting caused a disturbance that caused countless skinners to come from every direction. They appeared to number in the tens of thousands. Zikai Ankian's face instantly turned pale as there were so many. If any of their blades or chains stabbed through Long Chen, the two of them would be doomed. Those weapons carried the laws of this place. Once stabbed, they would become prey that the skinners would torture for eternity. Whirlwind slash. Long Chen suddenly grabbed Zikai Ankian by the waist and leaped into the air. A black saber image devoured the surrounding skinners. The sound of their bodies exploding rang out one by one. Long Chen was too fast and only had time to take some of their weapons as he rushed off. With just his own saber raining down attacks, he barged his way through them. Zikai Ankian was feeling more and more hopeful as they got closer to the pillar. Long Chen was much stronger than she had expected. Just as they were getting close to it, the land shook. The statues around it began to move. Those statues had manacles on their wrists. As soon as Long Chen approached them, one of them smashed both its fists at him. The immense power gave Long Chen a suffocating feeling. This was his first time encountering such power. He instinctively dodged. The statue's fists smashed into the ground. The entire palace swayed with a rumbling sound. Although the attack missed, the shockwaves sent Long Chen flying. 
Fortunately, the Skinners were blown to bits by the shock waves. That's a loather, cried out Zikiankian. What are loathers? asked Long Chen. I don't know either. The stories just say that loathers are the warriors of a giant race. They are incredibly powerful. It's said that they hate that heaven and earth have no handle. That's because they're so powerful that they have no suitable weapons. So they wish they could use heaven and earth as their weapons. Ah, Zikiankian cried out as she flew through the air. That wasn't from being blown away, but because Long Chen had tossed her. Zikiankian landed on the staircase of the pillar. She was many meters high now, while the loathers and skinners were all focused on Long Chen. They completely ignored her. Hating heaven and earth for not having a handle? What arrogant words. I'm impressed by that bragging. Let's see just how strong you really are. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed onto a loather's wrist. The loathers all had chained manacles on their wrists. Long Chen's attack didn't injure it at all. Instead, he himself was blown back. Now his battle intent was truly ignited. Divine Ring. A five-colored divine ring appeared. A five-point star within it. A hallowed aura surged out, even forcing back the air of purgatory. Feng Fu Star, Alif Star, Life Fate Star, Evil Moon slashed out mercilessly at one of the loathers. Their attacks clashed, and they were even. Enlightenment Palace Star, boom. Their stalemate was instantly broken, and the loather was forced back. However, Long Chen was shocked. These loathers were truly powerful. They were relying purely on the power of their physical bodies. Right after he forced back one, another four loathers immediately charged at him. Divine Gate Star, a pillar of light soared into the sky, lighting up this world. Split the heavens six, a huge saber image swept through all the loathers, slaying them. After killing them, Long Chen ran for the pillar. That attack had contained his full power and had slain all the surrounding loathers and skinners. However, that was useless. This was purgatory. While they were the oversetters, they would revive over and over again, taking advantage of while they had yet to reform. Long Chen sped up the staircase. He quickly caught up to Zikai Ankian and began to pull her along. They two of them rushed up like a wild gale. Their power really wasn't fake. Long Chen had only managed to settle them by using the five-star battle armor and the sixth form of split the heavens. However, while he still had enough energy to unleash this attack one more time, they would just keep reviving. The loathers let out a furious roar and began to bound up the staircase. They were like nimble monkeys, and they were even faster than Long Chen. Here, get on my back. I'm going to use my full speed. Long Chen put Zikai Ankian on his back. Thunder Force circulated around him as he sped up, looking like a bolt of lightning. Their immense speed caused a powerful tearing force that made Zikai Ankian feel like her body would explode. However, she knew this was a critical moment. She gritted her teeth and endured it. Ha ha ha, we made it. Long Chen suddenly laughed as he saw the top. There was black light there. Without hesitation, he charged into it. When Long Chen vanished into the black light, the loathers let out a furious roar, but they didn't dare to follow him there. Chapter 1609 Purgatory Evil Dragon Translator Born to be when Long Chen charged into that black light, he immediately felt like he had landed in glue-like water. He found himself unable to move. This strange water was binding him, and he couldn't shake it off. Long Chen's heart immediately sank. Was he about to be trapped in here for eternity? Let me. Zikai Ankian suddenly opened her eyes. A white rune appeared on her forehead, and it transformed into a bright crescent moon that dispersed the sticky water. The light from Zikai Ankian enveloped the two of them. Forcing the water away, the two of them began to float up in a bubble. At least I showed some value in the end, said Zikai Ankian with a smile. Ever since encountering Long Chen, she had felt herself to be useless. She had even brought him down, but now she was able to help him resolve a predicament that gratified her. This water possesses a strange energy that exists between the corporeal and incorporeal, a cross between reality and illusion. That's why no matter how strong you are, you can't do anything to it. It just so happens that the mental energy I cultivate is also between the corporeal and incorporeal, allowing me to block it, explained Zikai Ankian. So that's what it was. The world really is large. I'm just a frog at the bottom of a well. 
sighed Long Chen. He truly knew little about the greater world. What are you talking about? You're the bravest, strongest warrior I've ever seen. If you can come to my Aldeville Starfield, then once I finish my studies, I'll definitely create a set of battle armor that will increase your power by a hundred times. You'll be undefeatable, said Zikiankian excitedly. In the Aldeville Starfield, the human warriors weren't very powerful. They relied on their tactics and inventions, creating powerful sets of armor to fight against the Aldevil race. A hundred times increase. Long Chen jumped in shock. Actually, a hundred times would just be a base number. If the armor perfectly suits your bloodline power, you'll be able to unleash even greater power. Unfortunately, I don't even know what place you're from, and I won't be able to find you once we leave, said Zikiankian sadly. Don't be sad. I had no idea the outer world was so big before, but now that I know, I'll definitely have to go out and see it. I'll definitely come to find you. And if I didn't go looking for you, one of my brothers would start crying and making a fuss, laughed Long Chen. He thought of Guo Ran. It seemed that the place Zikai Ankian was from was perfectly suited for Guo Ran. He would definitely go crazy trying to get there. Really? Great. Zikai Ankian excitedly held Long Chen's hand. My Aldevil Starfield isn't too big. It only contains 3600 stars. The black stars belong to the Aldevil race, while the red stars are our territory. It's easy to look for. When you go to the Aldevil Starfield, go to any red star and ask for the Aldevil Slaying Dragon Academy. Everyone knows about it. I made so much profit this time. Not only will I be able to pay for my tuition, but it'll also be enough to buy all kinds of material, experimental equipment, and various tools. So you definitely have to come find me. I swear I'll make you the strongest armor in all of history all right. It just so happens that I want to know more about the Aldevil race. I'll take a trip there sooner or later, said Long Chen. The Aldevil monster he had encountered in Pill Valley's Heaven Dragon Flame region had said that Lord Brahma was someone who had betrayed his master. Long Chen felt an intense hatred for Lord Brahma and fallen Danite that came from within his bones. If the Nirvana scripture was created by Lord Brahma, then he should feel hatred for it as well. But he felt very familiar and close to the Nirvana scripture instead. This riddle had always disturbed him. Now that he knew the outside world was so big, he definitely had to take a trip there. He felt a constant sense of crisis when it came to the Pill Sovereign memories and the origins of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. However, there was nothing he could do about that right now. He could only take things step by step. Here, let's pinky swear. You will have to come and find me. Zikai and extended a hand with her pinky finger raised. Long Chen laughed involuntarily. Zikai was really still a child inside. Having lost her parents suddenly had a big impact on her, forcing her to mature and become strong. However, inside her heart outer appearance was a kind, childish heart. Long Chen also raised his pinky and locked it with hers. This could also count as a promise. The two of them continued floating up, finally reaching the surface of the water. They looked around to see an endless black ocean. Above it was a layer of primal chaos. There was a full moon shining brightly within the primal chaos. It lit up the black water. That was a strange sight. In truth, that moon was no moon. It was a circular hole. But due to the distance, it looked like a moon. That should be the exit, exclaimed Zikai Ankian. Although the two of them were floating on the water, the laws of the netherworld were still present. They couldn't fly, and they couldn't jump up there. Zikai Ankian took a deep breath and circulated her mental energy. The two of them began to slowly float toward the sky. Hey, wait a second. Suddenly, Evil Moon's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Ever since they had been sucked into the whirlpool and it had been forced to use up all its energy to protect Long Chen, Evil Moon had gone silent. Long Chen knew that it was furious at him for being an idiot, and so it was ignoring him. As for Long Chen, he wasn't foolish enough to try talking to it in its mood. Why bother getting himself cursed out? However, he was surprised that Evil Moon would take the initiative to speak to him. Kai Ankian, wait a moment. Long Chen quickly stopped Zi Kai Ankian. Evil Moon, what is it? Ah, well, sometimes, your actions aren't entirely wrong. Evil Moon hemmed and hawed. 
What? If you have something to say, then just say it, said Long Chen. Fine, then I'll say it directly. I sensed a treasure in the water here. It'll be very useful to me, said Evil Moon awkwardly. Hearing that, Long Chen immediately understood why Evil Moon was hemming and hawing. It was embarrassed. It had cursed Long Chen in its fury for being stupid and saving Zi Kian, but now there was something it needed in this place that they only came to because Long Chen had entered with Zi Kian. All its fury ended up being thrown back into its face. However, that treasure had to be very important to it, or it wouldn't thicken its face to ask for Long Chen's help. Long Chen couldn't help but smile. If he mocked it a bit, he would definitely fully avenge all the cursing it gave him. But he didn't do so. Although Evil Moon was an evil weapon, it was very prideful. Harming others to make oneself feel amazing was the most foolish thing to do. Long Chen definitely didn't want to end up like the old man and Kujinying, hurting each other each time they opened their mouths. Long Chen pointed, Kai Ankian, can you go in that direction first? There's something I need there. All right. Z Kai Ankian didn't know what he wanted to do. But she brought him slowly floating in that direction. When they got closer to the spot Evil Moon had indicated, Zikiankian turned pale. There was a giant black dragon lying on top of the water. It emitted a terrifying pressure. Even Long Chen jumped in fright. There was actually a black dragon here. When he looked at its sharp fangs, he felt a stabbing pain in his soul. What is that? demanded Long Chen. He, this is a close relative of my dark evil dragon race. They're called Purgatory Evil Dragons. It seems it had its dragon soul extracted and its corpse tossed here. However, its soul essence is still intact. That soul essence is perfect for me. I have to get it, said Evil Moon. Its fury had completely vanished. Clearly, this Purgatory Evil Dragon's soul essence was much better for it than the energy it had obtained from the Blood Gourd. Long Chen slowly approached the dragon's corpse. Zikiankian was starting to pant as she was unable to endure the dragon's pressure. Kai Ankian, back up for now. Long Chen grabbed onto one of the purgatory evil dragon's scales and climbed up. The purgatory evil dragon was extremely terrifying. Its pressure rendered the loss present ineffective. He was able to move freely on its body without being stuck by the strange sticky energy present. Once he climbed up, he came to fully appreciate just how huge the corpse was. It had to be measured in the thousands of miles. Evil Moon, was your body this big originally as well? Of course I was even bigger. Stop wasting words and go to its head. We have to extract its soul essence, urged Evil Moon. Long Chen climbed upward. He had to run a while on the dragon's body to get to its head. Fuck, just a head is hundreds of miles wide. Long Chen looked at the two soaring dragon horns with amazement. Keep going forward, a bit more. Okay, stop here, directed Evil Moon. Long Chen took a deep breath and stabbed Evil Moon into the skull. Chapter 1610 Possessed Long Chen Translator Born to be Evil Moon unleashed a burst of light and instantly grew larger, stabbing deep into the dragon's skull. The dead purgatory evil dragon suddenly began to rumble and explode. Powerful shockwaves blew Zikiankian far into the distance, making Long Chen jump in shock. Don't worry. Its dragon soul has long since vanished. This is just an instinctual twitching from having its soul essence stabbed, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon was like a heavenly blade now. Long Chen felt like an ant in front of it. Light flowed around Evil Moon as it absorbed the soul essence of the purgatory evil dragon. As it said, the purgatory evil dragon was already dead, and its movements were just an automatic reaction. Evil Moon didn't need Long Chen's help to absorb its energy. So Long Chen ran over to the skull's crown. What sharp teeth. Dragon teeth are definitely good stuff. Long Chen's eyes began to shine. He jumped beside the teeth. Each tooth was as large as a mountain. When he punched it, it caused a metallic ringing. But the tooth didn't budge. Instead, Long Chen's fist hurt. Just at this moment, Evil Moon flew out of the skull and returned to its original size. However, its aura was now darker and more sinister. It had clearly benefited greatly. Hey, don't just help yourself. I want this purgatory evil dragon. Help me take it. Long Chen formed a hand seal and circulated the primal chaos space. A vortex appeared behind him. 
Evil Moon let out a startled cry. You can't take it. It's before it could finish speaking. The purgatory evil dragon's corpse was pulled into the air by Long Chen's power. However, before it could be absorbed into the primal chaos space, countless chains flew out of the black water. They instantly bound Long Chen and the purgatory evil dragon. Fuck. I forgot to tell him the corpse is locked by a formation. If anyone tries to take it, they'll provoke the loss present. Evil Moon hastily flew into the air, slashing the chains. Bang. The chains completely rejected Evil Moon's attack and sent it flying back. Not good. I can't break these chains, shouted Evil Moon. These chains contained the laws of purgatory. In its current sealed state, there was no way it could sever them. In the distance, Zikai Ankian jumped in shock. She panicked as Long Chen and the giant dragon were bound by countless black chains. In the end, they turned into a giant black star. It was a terrifying seal. Long Chen, Zikai Ankian had no idea what to do. Her best option would be to abandon Long Chen and fly away to the only exit. She knew she couldn't help, but she also couldn't just leave him. Her mind was blank. Evil Moon repeatedly attacked the ball of chains, but it couldn't break them. Long Chen, you can't die yet. You still haven't undone my seal, roared Evil Moon. However, it felt like each of its attacks was landing on cotton. It was unable to find any spot to unleash its power. Boom. Suddenly, the chains exploded, and the purgatory evil dragon's corpse was sent flying. Where the ball of chains had been was Long Chen. Black Chi circulating around him. Endless negative emotions exploded out of him. Shocking Zikai Ankian. Long Chen. Zikai Ankian felt that Long Chen was like a completely different person. The current Long Chen looked like an Azura who had slaughtered countless people. He was covered in killing intent. Long Chen's eyes had turned red, and that red was the red of fresh blood. They were glaringly bright. His hair was standing on end as if he had entered a berserk state. A little purgatory thinks it can trap me? What a joke. Long Chen's voice was the same yet also different. It was like there were two voices overlapping. One that was Long Chen's, and the other that belonged to someone she didn't know. This is. Evil Moon was also shocked. Long Chen raised his head and roared. The chains he had shattered were in the midst of flying back and resealing him when they were blown to dust by his roar. A terrifying ripple spread through the air, tearing apart space. This was an unstoppable power, one that even Purgatory would have to submit to. Huge waves exploded on the black ocean. As it raged, more chains flew out of it at Long Chen. Scram. Those chains were turned to dust. Long Chen no longer appeared human. He was like a god from hell. None of the laws here could subdue him. Is a little purgatory so amazing? Today, I, Long Chen, will completely destroy all your 18 layers. The black chi surging out of Long Chen enveloped him, and he was about to charge back into the black ocean when Evil Moon slammed the back of his head with its hilt, knocking him unconscious. He's been possessed. Hurry and bring him away, shouted Evil Moon at Zikai Ankian. It returned to Long Chen's primal chaos space. Zikai Ankian was still a bit stunned. Things had happened so suddenly that she didn't even know what was happening. She hastily grabbed the unconscious Long Chen and unleashed her mental energy to float through the air. The ocean and the air were filled with that sticky spatial law, making it impossible to fly quickly. However, she was comforted to see that once Long Chen was unconscious and Evil Moon disappeared, the raging ocean returned to calm. No more chains came flying out. What's going on? How could there be another kind of energy hiding within Long Chen's body? Evil Moon was deeply shocked. Just now, Long Chen had transformed into someone else. Fortunately, his subconscious still viewed it as a partner, or it wouldn't have been able to knock him unconscious. The state Long Chen had just been in made Evil Moon feel very uneasy. There was something hidden in Long Chen's body that made it feel afraid. They finally got close to the white light. Without Zikai Ankian having to do anything, a suction force came from the white light, drawing them inside. Zikai Ankian felt the world spinning around her. It was like space was thrown into chaos. She almost fainted. After a moment, she let out a startled cry as she found that the two of them were falling from the sky. The two of them dropped onto the ground. Long Chen landed first, while Zikai Ankian landed on him. They rolled like calabashes. 
Long Chen slowly opened his eyes from the collision. It hurts. Long Chen reached out and rubbed the back of his head, feeling a large bump. He thought that it was from falling and was about to say something when he saw several life forms around them, staring at them in shock. This is the gates of hell. Long Chen looked around and saw the large gates he had seen before. He let out a delighted cry. They really had come out alive. Zigaluka, one of the life forms shouted at Long Chen and Zikai Ankian as they stood. Long Chen sent it flying with a slap. Fuck, I didn't run from purgatory to listen to your ugly words. If you don't want to die, then back up. Although he had no idea what it had been saying, based on its appearance, he could tell it had no kind intentions. That life form roared and charged at Long Chen, its hands transforming into two sharp claws. Since you're in such a rush to reincarnate, I'll help you out. Long Chen sneered and took out Devil Moon, slashing it. The life form exploded into dust. The surrounding life forms all backed up in fright. They had just seen Long Chen and Zikai Ankian fly out of the gates of hell. Naturally, they questioned what they were and what the situation was inside. One of them had paid the price for that. The other life forms all stared at the weapon in Long Chen's hand in fright and backed up. Let's go. Long Chen pulled Zikai Ankian away from the other life forms. Those life forms immediately got out of their way. They arrived at where the staircase was. As expected, Zikai Ankian had walked the orange path, and Long Chen couldn't see the staircase here. That was one of the laws present. Each person could only go through their own path. Long Chen, I'm going to leave. You have to come find me in the future. Zikai Ankian looked at Long Chen. Her eyes reddened slightly. They were about to go on different paths. Although the time she had known Long Chen was short, she had great trust in him. He was the first person she felt any trust in after her parents had died. Don't worry. Study hard once you get back. I'm looking forward to your strongest battle armor. Long Chen smiled warmly and patted Zikai Ankian's head. Zikai Ankian waved goodbye and began climbing a seemingly invisible staircase. Eventually, Zikai Ankian vanished from Long Chen's sight. Once she was gone, Long Chen didn't directly go to the black region to find his staircase. Instead, he returned to the gates of hell. When he was once more standing before the gates of hell, a sinister smile appeared on his face, one that frightened all the other life forms. What had this vicious person come back for? Long Chen, what are you planning? Don't tell me you want to tear off the doors exclaimed Devil Moon. Chapter 1611 Escaping the Netherworld Translator Born to be why would you say that? Am I such an unreasonable person? Look at how big this door is. There's no way I can carry such a thing, said Long Chen. Stop trying to fake it. After knowing you all this long, I've never once seen you be a reasonable person. Don't be a fool, warned Devil Moon. Devil Moon had originally thought that its guts were pretty big. After all, it had dared to challenge a sovereign, which had resulted in it paying a miserable price. However, after knowing Long Chen, it felt itself to be a coward in comparison. Long Chen couldn't be described as just having big guts. No, he was a madman. Don't worry, I have a plan. Evil Moon, help me out. Don't you think you should help me get some trump cards? Long Chen smiled mischievously. What are you planning? Do you see the nail on the lower left of the door? I want to take it. Long Chen pointed to a nail on the huge door. There were countless nails on this giant door. The door was pitch black, but the nails emitted divine light. They were definitely something good. Are you crazy? You want to take the nails of the gates of hell? Roared Evil Moon. Was this something a sane person would think of? Riches naturally had to be taken from danger. Long Chen ignored Evil Moon's roaring. He looked at the blood essence stones, blood soul stones, as well as the chains and blades from the skinners that he had in his primal chaos space. He couldn't help but sigh. This time, his trip had been very profitable. In fact, Long Chen had an urge to go take a look at the second level of purgatory to see what else he could get. Right now though, it was the nails that made him excited. You madman, the gates of hell definitely have their own restrictions on them. If you take a nail, it will definitely disturb some terrifying existence shouted Evil Moon. We'll just try it. Worst case, we turn and run. Furthermore, I feel like these gates only allow people through but not out. 
Whatever is inside should also be restricted and not able to come out. What do you think? Well, that does seem logical but, this is way too dangerous. With my current power, there's no way for me to fight against the existences here. If something unexpected happens, we won't even have a place to cry, said Evil Moon. It's fine, let's just try it. If we succeed, I'll have gained another terrifying trump card. Long Chen didn't waste any more time trying to convince Evil Moon. He ran directly to the door. All the life forms attacking the Nether Passage realm fell back. The sight of Long Chen killing that powerful life form before had shocked them. None of them dared to fight against him. Once Long Chen was close enough, he jumped up and began to run along the door to get higher. He only reached the nail after half an incense stick's worth of time. Only once he was there did he realize the doornail was even larger than what he had thought. Just this single doornail had a diameter of thousands of meters. In front of this nail, Long Chen was like a dragonfly trying to shake a tree. Evil Moon stabbed into a crack between the nail and the door. Long Chen slowly began to push. Evil Moon, are you alright? Don't worry, although I haven't recovered my power, my body is hard enough, said Evil Moon. Long Chen began to use his full power, forcing the nail out of the door. As he increased his power, the nail began to shudder. The life forms stared lifelessly at Long Chen's actions. When they saw that he wanted to take the door, they all turned green and began to shout. It really is possible Long Chen saw that the nail was starting to rise slowly. However, as the nail slowly rose, the gates of hell began to shake. At the same time, divine might crashed down. The life forms all fled for their lives. Long Chen, I think, we should just let it go. I'm feeling dizzy, shouted Evil Moon. We'll finish it in one burst Long Chen shouted and he activated his divine ring and five-star battle armor. Boom. The world shook as the huge nail flew out of the gates of hell. At that instant, a berserk aura came from within the gates of hell. Terrifying killing intent filled the world. The small crack of the two doors opened wider. Is a monster about to come out? In that instant, Long Chen felt a chill as some kind of energy locked onto him. Lightning flashed on his feet and lightning wings appeared on his back. He tossed the nail into the primal chaos space and fled. A huge hand suddenly came out of the gates of hell and reached toward Long Chen. He, by, however, Long Chen was too fast. He reached the whirlpool in an instant and fled up the staircase near the black lake. The hand missed. Just as Long Chen thought that the danger had passed, that hand snaked up from below and reached out for him again. It can curve like this. Long Chen let out a startled cry and slashed Devil Moon at it. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying up the waterfall. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, feeling like his body was about to break apart. He couldn't help being shocked. That hand contained the laws of this world. His power was unable to block it. Originally, going from the bottom to the top would have required a long time. But thanks to the attack, he flew out like a shooting star. Borrowing its power, he began to flee along the wooden logs. However, the huge hand followed him, once more slamming toward him. It was too big to dodge. Long Chen let out a furious roar and attacked. However, his saber image exploded, and he coughed up blood once more. How can this thing be so strong? Raged Long Chen. How could it not be so strong? It's condensed by the laws of this place. It won't stop until it kills you, said Evil Moon irritably. Long Chen was repeatedly blown back by the hand. He repeatedly coughed up blood. However, its attacks also increased Long Chen's speed. He quickly saw the bridge ahead of him. Just a bit more, hope appeared in Long Chen's eyes. As long as he returned to the gate, he would be able to leave the netherworld. Boom. Long Chen blocked once more and was sent flying by the large hand. This time, he smashed into one of the monstrosities on the bridge. The two of them tumbled back. The monstrosity's eyes suddenly turned sharp and runes revolved around it as it attacked Long Chen. Long Chen immediately grabbed hold of its chain and gave it a vicious slap in the face, also wrestling the chains from it. The chains transformed into divine runes that attacked him like millions of vipers. They actually weren't true chains. Raging flames incinerate the heavens. Golden flames exploded out of him, burning the runes around him into ashes. As for the large hand, it returned, striking again. It seemed it really wouldn't stop until he was dead. 
Long Chen had no time to deal with it. He ran, barely dodging its attack. Its strike ended up breaking the bridge. Long Chen fled as fast as he could. He quickly saw many gates open in the darkness. He had already determined which one was the old man's. And just as he was about to run through, he came to a stop. He was being followed by that large hand. What if when he fled, the hand destroyed the old man's gate? Then the old man wouldn't be able to return. Fuck. Why didn't I think of this problem? Long Chen was vexed. He couldn't go through the other gates. Because once he did, he would enter that person's body. Who knew whether these gates would lead to the body of a human or a demon? What if they led to a completely different star field? One mistake, and he would never be able to return to the martial heaven continent. The hand once more slammed toward him. Long Chen blocked it again. But this time, his bones almost shattered. He felt like he was reaching his limit. What do I do? Long Chen's heart raced. There was no other choice. He could only randomly pick a door. No matter what, he couldn't implicate the old man. Just as he was preparing to randomly pick a gate to go through, a fluctuation came from the surrounding space. A new gate opened, and an elder walked out. When Long Chen saw that elder's robes, he almost wept tears of joy. This old fellow really had come at the right time. Old fellow, I'm going to borrow your gate. Many thanks. That elder had just entered the netherworld and didn't even know what was going on when he was grabbed by Long Chen and thrown into the distance. At the same time, Long Chen charged into his gate. Long Chen, the elder was wearing robes of the corrupt path. He only recognized Long Chen once he was tossed aside. He had just recognized Long Chen when he was blown to pieces by the hand. The hand slammed into his gate, destroying it. However, Long Chen had vanished. Chapter 1612 Old Patriarch Long Chen Translator Born to be the darkness was familiar. By the time the gate was destroyed, Long Chen had already escaped through it, stimulating Long Chen's side with relief. That really had been dangerous at the end. He had almost made a big mistake. That huge hand had been a manifestation of the laws of the netherworld. Now that he had left, it would also vanish. The old man's gate would be fine. Long Chen, do you remember how you escaped from purgatory at the end? Asked Devil Moon suddenly. Ah, you know what? I really can't remember. I was caught by the chains when trying to take the purgatory evil dragon corpse. I remember struggling and not being able to escape the chains. And then, and then my head's blank. My next memory is appearing outside the gates of hell. What happened in the middle? Asked Long Chen. Hello? Why aren't you saying anything? Asked Long Chen when Evil Moon didn't reply. Evil Moon was silent for a long time. Eventually, it said. It's nothing. You managed to forcibly escape from purgatory. It makes sense that purgatory would erase those memories. The only strange thing is that it only erased a portion of your memories. Curious. In the end, Evil Moon decided to conceal what had happened to Long Chen in the end. It had sensed something. And after considering it, it decided that Long Chen shouldn't learn of this. That makes sense. Anyone who returns from the netherworld has their memories erased. But I didn't go through the gates of hell. So I only had a portion erased. It seems the netherworld really is strange. Long Chen nodded. The majority of nether passage experts were not as amazing as Ku Jinying. Ku Jinying had managed to seal a portion of her memories and bring them out. But the majority of nether passage experts had all their memories erased by some mysterious energy. It was said that the netherworld existed on a yin plane. While the world of the living existed on a yang plane which meant that memories of the other plane had to be erased. However, this was just a guess, and it was just what everyone said. There was no solid proof of the matter. Long Chen, have you ever felt yourself to be evil or very sinister? Asked Evil Moon suddenly. What? Did you take the wrong medicine this morning? Aren't you an evil weapon that has slaughtered countless people? Don't you feel embarrassed calling me evil? Long Chen was speechless. All right. Let's not talk about that then. Evil Moon shut its mouth. It felt that its own communication abilities were lacking. It couldn't pull any useful information out of Long Chen without him sensing something. Evil Moon, why are you acting strange? Asked Long Chen curiously. It's nothing. I'm going to absorb the purgatory evil dragon's soul essence. I won't be able to help you during this time. 
so try to act calm. After that, Evil Moon fell silent. Long Chen clearly felt that Evil Moon's words were a bit strange and off from how it usually acted. He was about to ask it for more details when his body shook. Long Chen opened his eyes. He found himself to be in a sealed off room. At this moment, he was a white-haired skinny elder. The moment the Netherworld's loss had been about to kill him, an expert from the corrupt path had attacked the Nether Passage realm. Long Chen had instantly recognized his robes. At that moment, he had been so moved that he had almost cried. This was his first time feeling that the corrupt path's experts also had a lovable side to them. Now that Long Chen had gone through the expert's gate, he had entered his body. That expert's Yuan spirit had been destroyed, and this body had become a masterless object, allowing Long Chen to control it. Long Chen opened the door. The sight that entered his eyes was a naked man and woman sweating and plowing the fields. Both the man and woman were life star experts. In the midst of their plowing, they saw Long Chen walk in. They immediately knelt on the ground, quivering with terror. The woman was especially terrified. Greetings, Patriarch. Long Chen directly pressed a finger against the man's head. A lightning arrow pierced his head, killing him. A rush of information poured through his mind. Long Chen learned that the owner of the body he was in was called Zhao Manchu. He was the old patriarch of the evil spirit sect, while the man he had just killed was the evil spirit sect's new sect leader. As for the woman, that was a bit interesting. She was Zhao Manchu's disciple and his dual cultivation cauldron. However, just the third day after he went into seclusion to attack the Nether Passage realm, she had ended up with the new sect leader. Experts attacking the Nether Passage realm would take at least three months to succeed. Some would even take years. The two of them had never expected their old patriarch to return so quickly. Things are a bit messed up now. Long Chen clapped himself on the forehead. He hadn't expected this old ghost to still have such firepower at such an age. However, the old patriarch didn't know that someone else had already given him a green hat. Patriarch, don't kill me, please. Think of the years I've attended you. Long Chen pointed another finger, killing her. If you knew life was so precious, why did you take other people's lives so easily? Side Long Chen. If they weren't from the corrupt path, he wouldn't have killed them. Whether or not they wanted to give a green hat to this old ghost had nothing to do with him. However, the corrupt path's hands were covered in the blood of the righteous path. If it was just the blood of the righteous path, he wouldn't care that much. After all, the righteous path didn't have many good people either. However, the corrupt path's first step on their cultivation paths was to kill the innocent commoners and use their blood as proof of their conviction toward their corrupt god. That was something Long Chen couldn't accept. So he didn't feel any guilt about killing them. Long Chen entered a larger palace from his room. Sitting on the throne, he shouted, All core elders are to come for an emergency meeting. The entire evil spirit sect was shaken. None of its members could understand how their old patriarch had come out so quickly from his seclusion. Greetings, patriarch. In just a bit, over 70 core elders gathered. Of these people, half were life star experts. This evil spirit sect had to be very powerful. Two of you go and drag out those two brutes inside, ordered Long Chen coldly. All the elders' expressions were odd. Two of them entered the back of the palace and came out with two corpses. Everyone became shocked, but no one said a word. Let me tell you, I'm in a bad mood, a very bad mood, said Long Chen gloomily. The elders were silent out of fear. If such a thing happened to anyone, they would also be in a bad mood. They just prayed that the patriarch's anger wouldn't fall on them. Tell me, what had happened during the time I was in seclusion, demanded Long Chen, reporting to the old patriarch. An emissary from Pill Valley came yesterday to discuss something with the sect leader. He has yet to leave, reported an elder. In truth, Long Chen already knew about this from Soul Sarking the new sect leader. He was asking on purpose as a cover. After the battle in the Grand Han, Hu Jinying had released the experts from the corrupt path so that they could bring word to the higher-ups of the corrupt path to not be used by Pill Valley. Ever since then, the corrupt path had become much calmer. The corrupt path wasn't led by fools. After being used for so long and suffering such losses, they hadn't gained anything. Pill Valley itself hadn't been bringing out its real power and only using others. 
In the end, they had retreated like turtles into their shells, that had made the corrupt path very dissatisfied with Pill Valley. That was why the various large forces of the corrupt path had no desire to work with Pill Valley again. Their cooperation had caused the corrupt path to suffer large losses. Before, those losses were secretly paid back with medicinal pills from Pill Valley. However, ever since the matter of Master Long San, their medicinal pills supply had also become tight. As a result, the corrupt path didn't wish to work with them any longer. However, Pill Valley really had some skills. They had taken advantage of when Zhao Manchu was attacking the Nether Passage realm to seduce the new sect leader. Bring him over, shouted Long Chen. Very quickly, an elder wearing Pill Valley's robes walked in. When Long Chen saw him, he narrowed his eyes slightly. The thing he couldn't comprehend was that he recognized this elder. He was one of Pill Valley's grand elders. However, he belonged to the conservative faction. Wasn't the conservative faction supposed to focus on calmly developing and not interfering with the outside world? However, he had actually run over to form a relationship with the evil spirit sect. Greetings, sect leader Zhao the Pill Valley Elder cupped his fists toward Long Chen with a faint smile. He seemed very relaxed. Long Chen smiled coldly. What's with that smile? Are you prostituting yourself? Someone come beat him. Beat him until he's dead. When Long Chen gave his orders, no one could believe their ears. They looked at their patriarch in shock. Had he gone mad? He wanted to kill one of Pill Valley's Grand Elders? You, what are you doing? Shouted the Grand Elder. I've already said that I'm not in a good mood. Anyone who dares to go against my orders will be executed. You all can choose who you'd rather die. Him or you, roared Long Chen. Die. Those elders hesitated no longer and attacked Pill Valley's Grand Elder. You've gone mad, the Grand Elder roared, and flames exploded out of him. However, there were too many people here. After blocking one attack, he fled outside the palace. Activate the Grand Formation. Don't let him run, shouted an elder. The Grand Protective Formation was instantly activated, and Pill Valley's Grand Elder suddenly turned into a turtle in a jar. He was besieged by over 30 life star experts. Refreshing. Truly refreshing. The feeling of playing people to death was truly good. Long Chen watched as the sanctimonious Grand Elder was forced to run miserably. It was a brilliant sight. Whoever kills him will become the new sect leader. Seeing that things weren't lively enough, Long Chen added some extra spies. Chapter 1613 Conning Grand Master Translator Born to be Long Chen now had the title of the old patriarch of the evil spirit sect looking through the memories of the sect leader he had just slain. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. This Zhao Mankin was really unlucky. Just as his longevity was running out, he had managed to comprehend life and death, reaching half-step nether passage. After a year of preparing himself, he had made his determination to attack the nether passage realm. However, he had only just stepped into the netherworld when he was killed by Long Chen, and his body was taken over by Long Chen's Yuan spirit. However, this was not technically a possession since he was unable to use Zhao Mankin's energy. He was only able to use his own energy within this body. He couldn't activate the corrupt path's techniques. Possession required a long time to stabilize, and doing so would cause his Yuan spirit to adapt to this body. Then when he returned to his real body, it would feel unnatural. Although possessing Zhan Mankin's body would allow Long Chen to use this old fellow's status to do many things. For example personally taking a trip to Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, making some money, killing some people, and venting some rage. It wasn't worth it in the long run. That was why Long Chen was just controlling the physical body. If a real fight started, he would be exposed. However, even if he couldn't personally fight, just this husk was enough for him to do many things. For example getting this Grand Elder of Pill Valley killed. When Long Chen said that whoever killed him would become the new sect leader, all those life star experts eyes turned red. Although that Grand Elder was powerful and surrounded by intense flames, he was an alchemist, not a flame cultivator. In just a few seconds, he was surrounded by danger on all sides. Zhan Mankin. You've gone insane. Do you know the consequences for this? Roared the Grand Elder. 
he was unable to comprehend why the evil spirit sect's old patriarch would act like this. Fool, you bewitched my disciple while I was attacking the Nether Passage realm, wanting to completely overturn my evil spirit sect if I don't give your Pill Valley a harsh lesson. Won't you start thinking that the entire corrupt path is your dog? All of you, start using some real power. You're all cowards. Even now, you don't dare to kill him? You useless things. If you don't start fighting seriously, you'll regret it, shouted Long Chen furiously. He had noticed that although these corrupt experts looked to be fighting fiercely, they were all holding back. They clearly wanted to capture the Pill Valley Grand Elder alive rather than kill him. After all, a Grand Elder was an extremely important position in Pill Valley. They were afraid. However, following Long Chen's shout, these people clenched their teeth. One of them raised his blade and blood-colored light exploded out of it, transforming into countless skulls that attacked the Grand Elder. That Grand Elder raised flame barriers, but the skulls blasted large holes through them. As his defenses were torn apart, the other corrupt experts didn't hesitate. They attacked. At this moment, it revealed how vicious the corrupt path's experts were. With his defenses broken, the others all launched their strongest killing blows. The Grand Elder was instantly annihilated in body and soul. Good. A person must be firm and decisive. If you hesitate over everything, what accomplishments could you possibly have? If you always wait to see what other people are doing before you act, you won't even be able to grab crap while it's still warm. You. Yes you. You're the next sect leader. Long Chen pointed at the corrupt Elder who had attacked at full power first. That elder was delighted and hastily fell to his knees and kowtowed. The other elders were holding parts of the grand elder's corpse. The one holding his head couldn't help being disappointed. He had thought that he would be the next sect leader. HMPH. You don't like it? A sect leader must have further vision and daring. Without that daring, what could you possibly accomplish? The opportunity was right in front of you, but you let it slip away for nothing. Tell me. How could I possibly give the sect to you? Long Chen looked at the elders with disappointment. Patriarch's teachings are correct those elders hastily bowed. His words were correct. All of them had hesitated. It was just that one of them had been one step faster than the others. As a result, that one step had resulted in him becoming the sect leader. His status was instantly elevated far above them. Everyone, return to the palace. Long Chen slowly walked back in with his hands clasped behind his back and sat on the throne. The gates were closed tightly, and a formation was activated to turn this into a restricted space. No one else could get close. The elder that was the future sect leader respectfully stood by Long Chen's side. That was a sign of his new status. When Long Chen wasn't present, everyone would have to listen to him. Although he wanted to conceal it and act Loki, he couldn't conceal his excitement. Just now, he had been standing with the rest. Now, he was standing beside the patriarch. To say the others weren't jealous would be a lie. However, what could they do? Don't blame your patriarch for not giving you a chance. You all had this opportunity, but you hesitated, letting one person grasp it. Now I'll give you another chance. As long as you can grab hold of it, although you won't be able to be promoted to sect leader. I guarantee you can easily comprehend life and death when you reach the peak of the life star realm. I will easily promote you to half-step nether passage, said Long Chen. What all the elders were shocked. How could it be so easy to go from the peak of life star to half-step nether passage? Perhaps you don't believe me? It's true. In the rest of the world, there's no one else who can do this. However, I can. Long Chen waved his hand, and a thick black chain appeared. All the elders let out startled cries and retreated as it thudded into the ground. They didn't sense any pressure from the chain, but they did sense a powerful aura of death that made them instinctively distance themselves from it. It was like being too close would cause their life force to rot. This is, all the elders were stunned. Some of them were old monsters that had lived for hundreds or thousands of years, but even people as experienced as them couldn't recognize what material this chain was made of. This chain is a priceless treasure I obtained from the netherworld. As long as your cultivation base reaches the peak of life star, you can understand the true essence of death by binding yourself with these chains. You'll be able to experience the process of going from living to dead. 
from dead to living. After a few times, you'll come to naturally understand life and death, said Long Chen. You really are a conner. If they bound themselves with these chains, well I believe the part about experiencing going from living to dead, but the dead to living part? Absolute nonsense. Just as Long Chen was conning these people, Evil Moon couldn't help opening its mouth. This chain was the weapon of one of the Skinners from Purgatory. The death energy coming from it would guarantee that anyone who touched it would die. Now you want to talk? Didn't you say you were going into seclusion? Raged Long Chen. By going into seclusion, I meant I am busy absorbing energy and can't help you fight. It doesn't mean I have to keep my mouth shut, said Evil Moon indifferently. HMPH. Long Chen ignored it. He was holding the chains in his hands, as this body was already dead. While his Yuan spirit wasn't afraid of it, he continued. This chain comes from the netherworld and can allow one to experience the cycle of life and death. However, don't start dreaming too early. The chain only guarantees that you can comprehend life and death. As for surviving the netherworld, it'll be up to your luck. As for me, have you all not noticed that the fluctuations of my Yuan spirit are completely different from before could it be? Patriarch, you've already become a nether passage expert. The elders cried out in shock. Ha ha ha. Long Chen didn't reply and laughed instead. As for what that meant, he left it up to them. This mysterious laughter shocked these elders, as well as delighted them. Ignoring the Nether Passage Realm, just the half-step Nether Passage Realm was something countless life star experts wouldn't dare to achieve even in their dreams. So, let me tell you, in the future, Pill Valley will just be a fart. With this chain, in less than a hundred years, our evil spirit sect can give rise to over a hundred nether passage experts. Half-step nether passage experts will number in the thousands. At that time, we'll unite the corrupt path and topple the righteous path. The martial heaven continent will be ours. As for Pill Valley, who gives a damn? Long Chen's words shocked and delighted these elders, as well as inspired them. This fortune had truly come suddenly. However, there is only one chain and it is to be our evil spirit sect's secret treasure. No one is to spread a word of it past these walls. Otherwise, Long Chen's expression suddenly turned cold. Patriarch, don't worry. We will add these memories to the corrupt god seal so that no one can learn of it, cried an elder. Good, you're quite smart. Then let's discuss the plan for dominating the martial heaven continent within a hundred years. The majority of you are at the life star realm. And as long as you have enough resources, you can quickly reach half-step nether passage. However, I don't want just you to advance. I want everyone to advance collectively and continuously over time. To do that requires one thing, money and a lot of it at that. That's why all of you must listen well. Our evil spirit sect needs money. So all of you are to go borrow money from all the various sects using the name of the evil spirit sect. It doesn't matter how high the interest rate is. The only thing that matters is how much money you can get. Even if they want our divine item as collateral. Even if they want a personal IOU from me. That's all fine. This is called borrowing chickens to get eggs. We will use their money to raise our power. And in a hundred years, the Martial Heaven Continent will be ours. At that time, he, would we still even need to repay that money? The most important thing now is to gather as much money as possible but remember not to expose the matter of the netherworld chain to anyone. I will decide what order you get to advance to half-step nether passage based on how much money you can get. Of course, the first one will be the new sect leader, but the rest of the rankings are up to you all. I should also tell you that the more you contribute and the more money you gather, the greater your position will be in the future. You've already missed one chance, so if you miss this second chance, no one will be able to help you. Go. Long Chen waved his hand, and those elders instantly vanished from sight as they flew out of the palace. Long Chen, you really are shameless. I, Evil Moon, have never seen someone like you in all my years. Sighed Evil Moon emotionally. Chapter 1614 Crazily Raking in Money Translator Born to be the facts proved that people's potential was really limitless. As long as you could give someone a target that was easily obtained, they would unleash unimaginable power. It was unknown whether it was due to the identity of the patriarch, 
or whether it was because Long Chen's conning skills were simply so great, or perhaps it was a combination of both. But these elders who had lost their chance to become the new sect leader all went crazy fighting for this chance. None of them wanted to give up a second chance. After returning to their homes and gathering their things, they rushed off to sects that they had a decent relationship with. As elders of a sect, they all had their circle of friends. Some of these elders were friends with elders from other sects. Some were even close enough to certain sect leaders to call them brother. After all, the evil spirit sect was quite famous within the eastern Xuan region's corrupt path. Back when Long Chen had charged into the corrupt path's minor worlds to take their heaven and earth spirit spring, the evil spirit sect had contributed greatly to the force that had managed to drive him away. Those elders immediately went to the sects that they had the closest relationships with and directly asked to borrow money. They were afraid others would take the initiative first. In any case, the patriarch had already said that the evil spirit sect would be filled with nether passage experts in just a hundred years. No matter how much they borrowed, they didn't need to worry about it. Even an insane interest rate was no problem. In any case, they were borrowing the money under the name of the evil spirit sect, with the backing of their patriarch. As a result, practically all the eastern Xuan region's corrupt path sects ended up visited by at least one elder of the evil spirit sect. Countless sects loaned money to them. One reason was because the evil spirit sect was a top-level sect and they hoped to form a good relationship with them. Other than that, the evil spirit sect promised to repay them with extremely high interest. They promised to double their investment in a hundred years. Not only could they form a good relationship with the evil spirit sect, but they could also gain so much profit. Where would one even look for such a great thing? Moreover, the evil spirit sect's elders conducted their money borrowing in absolute secrecy. They demanded whoever they borrowed money from to keep it secret as well. They were not to divulge a single word of what was happening. Long Chen was sitting in the evil spirit sect, with a large list hanging inside the palace. The list ranked the various elders' contributions. However much money they had gathered was listed beside their names. Yes, it was fair, very fair. Those elders seemed to have become insane as they borrowed as much money as possible, using any means necessary from threats to promises, all to increase their own ranking. Some elders even went to rob their close relatives and friends, while they also brought out all their own savings. Long Chen sat there, spending each day counting money. He waited for the elders to come by, kneel toward him, and offer him a spatial ring. Each time, Long Chen would accept it without his face turning red at all. At the same time, he would encourage them to work harder even saying that there was no need to be so rigid in their methods. The method by which they obtained the money didn't matter. What mattered were the results, not the process. When Long Chen said this, Evil Moon became speechless. Are you telling them to steal and plunder? Long Chen shook his head. That's their own problem. I've given them a kitchen knife, but as for what kind of food they make, it has nothing to do with me. TCH, you gave them a knife and then pointed them to other people's heads. What kind of food are you expecting? HMPH. The only food you're getting is pig heads. A master can open the gates. But cultivation depends on the person. The Tao is limitless and depends on each person's comprehension. Take me for example. I'm unlucky. And I have to fight for everything I get. However, I'm luckier than them. In that although I come from poor origins. I have a warm mother and a heroic father. They didn't try to brainwash me. They gave me a blank sheet and let me paint what I wanted. As for these people, there's already no saving them. They've been brainwashed by their so-called corrupt god. They don't even have their own thoughts. Not conning them would be letting down their years of brainwashing. I should tell you, the corrupt paths fellows are all very perseverant. They're vicious to others and vicious to themselves. That's why you should just watch. A shocking amount of money is about to come in. As Long Chen predicted. On just the second day, he received his first receipts. There were 10 million spirit crystals, but it was just a start. The first elder who came to give him a spatial ring immediately rushed off after handing him the money. By the third and fourth days, Long Chen was barely keeping up with recording how much they had earned. He was making so much that he was almost tired of recording it all. As Long Chen kept track of the money, 
the new sect leader kept track of the rankings. By the seventh day, Long Chen had taken in 480 million spirit crystals. Fuck, I didn't expect that the corrupt path to be so rich. Long Chen was shocked inside, but he didn't show it. He simply continued increasing the pressure on the elders, saying that they could use the sect's divine item as collateral. If the other side didn't believe it, they could come to the evil spirit sect and he would personally speak with them. Once Long Chen threw that into the mix, there were dozens of new loans approved, and his wealth leaked to 930 million spirit crystals. After another three days, Long Chen found that this was about the limit. The evil spirit sect's movements had not gone unnoticed. Although they had carried everything out secretly, there was no way such large movements could be made without raising suspicion. Long Chen was sure that it wouldn't be long before people would come to investigate. At this time, Long Chen made the wisest decision. On a moonless, stormy night, he patted his butt and left. The disappearance of their patriarch went unnoticed for three days before all the evil spirit sects experts were thrown into a panic. It was just at that time that the corrupt paths higher-ups from the central Xuan region came to investigate. Clearly the evil spirit sects movements had been reported by others. This investigation revealed that the patriarch had vanished. As for the story Long Chen had come up with about creating countless half-step nether passage experts, it was also exposed. The entire eastern Xuan region's corrupt path went crazy. Only at this time did they realize that they had been tricked. Practically, all the corrupt sects in the eastern Xuan region had loaned money to the evil spirit sect when the central Xuan region's experts came to investigate. They were stunned to find that all this money had been whisked away by the patriarch. Many people were now holding IOUs in their hands and had no idea who they were supposed to find to get the money. All the evil spirit sect's money had vanished as well. The entire corrupt path was enraged. Ever since the corrupt path had been established, they had never encountered such a thing. The higher-ups were infuriated and went all out to find Zhao Mankan. Unfortunately for them, Long Chen had long since disguised Zhao Mankan's body and headed off to the heaven-splitting battle sect when he was close to the heaven-splitting battle sect. He took out his Yuan spirit and burned Zhao Mankan's body to ashes with the heaven incinerating flame. He left behind no traces. Later, the corrupt path's higher-ups asked Heavenly Fate Island to calculate the fate of Zhao Mankan, only to find that he had long since died. After a careful analysis, they found that he had been dead even before he had come out of seclusion. The corrupt path was shocked. No matter how amazing Heavenly Fate Island was, they could only read the fates of living people, dead people, especially matters relating to the netherworld, couldn't possibly be calculated. In the end, this matter was added to the ranks of the four mysteries of the corrupt path. Even countless years later, no one managed to figure this mystery out. However, due to the patriarch, one of Pill Valley's grand elders had been killed. As for how Pill Valley and the corrupt path settled that bill, only they knew. Long Chen took a deep breath and slowly opened his eyes. The old man was sitting calmly in front of him. Their palms were still pressing against each other. The old man's eyes were still closed, and his aura had vanished. It was like he had died. Old man, you have to come back. Long Chen made a prayer inside. The netherworld was truly dangerous. The slightest mistake would cause someone to lose their life. Long Chen carefully retreated from this place. This was a private room and the heaven-splitting blade was protecting it. There was even a formation outside isolating it. This was the safest place in the heaven-splitting battle sect Long Chen exited. The bosses were guarding the entrance and immediately began to ask him what had happened. Little fellow, what happened? How did your Yuan spirit come from outside? Long Chen's movement arts might be able to conceal his Yuan spirit from the regular disciples but there was no way he could have snuck into this room with the seven bosses guarding it. Long Chen hadn't explained at that time and had entered to return to his body before saying anything. Now that he came out, the seven bosses crowded him. The matter of Long Chen entering the netherworld was only known by them. Not even Bao Buping and Chang Hao were told. It wasn't that they didn't trust them, but that the two of them were still young. They weren't experienced enough and who knew what would accidentally come out of their mouths? Everything went smoothly. Long Chen didn't dare to tell them everything. 
All he said was that he and the old man had gone through everything up to the gates of hell smoothly. On the way back, he had encountered someone from the corrupt path called Jamankan, slain him, and then entered his body through his gate. He gave a simple explanation of what he had done in the corrupt path to con money. Whenever he wanted to mention what exactly happened in purgatory, Long Chen felt a faint sense of unease, so he didn't mention it in the end. This kind of unease didn't stem from himself. It was unease for the seven bosses. He now realized at least one restriction binding him, the existence known as karma. If he told them about everything, it would very likely harm them. Ha ha ha, little fellow, you have some talent. The corrupt path really has been conned. The seven bosses cried tears of laughter when they heard about how Long Chen had conned the corrupt path. It was definitely satisfying. Perhaps only someone like Long Chen would think of such a con. This is even better than hacking them with a blade, praised the fourth boss. Although Long Chen's con wouldn't cause the Eastern Xuan region's corrupt path to collapse, it could count as at least giving them a serious blow. The new disciples would definitely end up falling far behind the others. Money really was the most frightening thing. He, the Zhuanshan Dao sect needs money to rebuild. I had no choice. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Don't let it get to your head. Hurry and go back. You've been in seclusion for two months. The day before yesterday, I heard that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's construction already came to a stop. They probably ran out of money, said Boss Bao. All right, then I'll leave for now. Long Chen said his goodbyes to the bosses. Without saying goodbye to Chang Hao or Bao Buping, he began rushing over to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Chapter 1615 A Pageant Translator Born to be only now did Long Chen learn that it had been two months in the outer world since he had entered the netherworld. By the time he returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the basic shapes of the buildings had come into being. Many majestic mountains were already supported by formations. Although they were still barren, things were starting to take shape. However, when he returned, he only saw a portion of experts still working. The construction in many places had stalled. Long Chen this goal of yours really is too big. Li Xiangxuan looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. As the Xuan master, reconstructing the Zhuanshan Dao sect was his responsibility. However, Long Chen's plans for the reconstruction were too grand. Only once the construction began did they realize that the cost would be even greater than what they had estimated. There was not one area that didn't need more money. Just laying down this basic foundation and finishing the cultivation and training areas for disciples had taken up as much money as the savings of any supreme sect finishing the training grounds could temporarily steady the hearts of the new disciples. Although they were geniuses amongst geniuses, if their treatment in the Zhuanshan Dao sect was so bad that they couldn't even train, their morale would drop, then reconstructing would be even more difficult. The first thing they had done was to build the training grounds and lay the basic framework for the rest. Although some parts looked grand already, they were empty inside. The true money-burning areas involved the grand formation. Just building what was essentially an empty shell had used up all the money Long Chen had ripped off of Pill Valley and the money he had borrowed from Zheng Wenlong. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's original savings had also been tossed into the construction. However, they weren't even halfway done. In fact, Li Xiangxuan estimated that they were only 30% of the way through. That was why he said that Long Chen's goal was too big. Worst of all, even Li Xiangxuan, the leader of the sect, couldn't do anything about it. He could only hope for Long Chen to make more money. That was truly embarrassing. He, in my view, any problems that can be solved with money aren't real problems. Long Chen handed Li Xiangxuan a spatial ring. How? How do you have this much? Li Xiangxuan gasped. Long Chen didn't hide what he had done. He told Li Xiangxuan about how he had gone to the netherworld with the old man and then ended up causing a bit of trouble in the corrupt path. He concealed certain portions just like he had with the seven bosses. You actually went to the netherworld Long Chen explained the situation outside the netherworld's gates of hell. He didn't feel any sense of unease when speaking of those things. So he felt that there shouldn't be any karma. Little fellow, you really were vicious. Li Xiangxuan looked at the almost one billion spirit crystals in the spatial ring with admiration. Long Chen not only had heaven-shaking combat power, 
but his money-making abilities were also heaven-defying. Is Wild all right? Asked Long Chen. His body seems to have reached a full state. However, it seems it will still be some time until he wakes up. All right then. Xuan Master, I'll leave the matter of reconstructing the sect to you. This money should be enough for now. And after a bit more time, Zhang Wenlong should be sending over more money. Although it still isn't enough, it should alleviate some of the urgency. Again, just leave the matter of money to me. I'm going to go see my brothers. Long Chen said goodbye to Li Xiangxuan and went to the mountain belonging to the Dragonblood Legion. All the other mountains were barren, and the formations supporting them hadn't been finished yet. However, the Dragonblood Legion's mountain was already flourishing with greenery. Dense spiritual qi circulated around it. There was clearly a powerful formation at work. The density of spiritual qi in the air could almost suffocate a mortal. This mountain was still called Crouching Dragon Mountain, and only the Dragonblood warriors could enter. This was a land belonging solely to them. The cultivation caves were all of the highest possible level, and there was an independent transportation formation that allowed them to go directly to the central plaza. This was the unique privilege bestowed solely to the Dragonblood Legion. Li Xiangxuan's actions were very smart. This was an era where the strong were worshipped. Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion were the symbols of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Li Xiangxuan made them into stars shining in the bright sky. Existences others would have to look up to. He did this not to incite other people's jealousy, but to increase their worship for them. Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion's rise was a legendary story. He had to maintain a mystical feeling around them to effectively keep the other disciples in high morale. Boss, you're back. As soon as Long Chen appeared on Crouching Dragon Mountain, a Dragonblood warrior let out a startled cry, and the rest of the warriors surged out of their various residences like a swarm of bees. Ha ha ha, good job. You've all reached the mid-soul transformation realm. This speed really is shocking. Long Chen was truly shocked when he sensed their auras. The majority of the Dragonblood Legion had reached the fourth heaven stage of soul transformation. Gu Yang and the others had even reached the fifth heaven stage. As for Long Chen, he wasn't even at the first heaven stage. During this time, he hadn't had any time to cultivate, so his cultivation base had stagnated. Each of us has our own soul nourishing formation in our caves. Even when we sleep, we continue to get stronger. How could we not be fast? said Li Qi excitedly. They clearly felt very glorious with the special treatment the Zhuanshan Dao sect had given them. This was a symbol of their status. Soul transformation experts mainly cultivated the Yuan spirit. The main component of the Yuan spirit was spiritual strength. So soul nourishing formations and pills were must-haves for them. Li Xiangxuan had built the best possible soul nourishing formations for the Dragonblood warriors. Even throughout the entire continent, they were top level. That was the power of money. Even without soul nourishing pills, just cultivating in their caves allowed them to progress rapidly. Of course, this kind of rapid pace would only occur at the start. Their speed had dropped after reaching the mid stage, and by the late stage, their pace would be much slower. Are the new fellows still obedient? asked Long Chen. Everything's well. The majority are courteous. And even if they challenge us, they do it with the attitude of learning. Some thorns became obedient after a few beatings. As for the few who liked causing trouble, after a few bashings, they couldn't bear it anymore and left, said Gu Yang. There was an immense number of geniuses that had joined recently. Those geniuses had previously liked to look down on others. Some people who felt that they would be amazing existences in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, second only to Long Chen realized that they were nothing here after a few beatings. They then decided to leave. Perhaps that was a case of rather being the head of a chicken than the tail of a bull. Being in the Zhuanshan Dao sect was truly a blow to arrogant geniuses. However, the absolute majority stayed. The cultivation conditions here were much better than where they had come from. Furthermore, they could exchange pointers with true experts. That allowed them to progress at the fastest speed. Furthermore, Another important factor was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's potential. The scale at which it was being rebuilt was shocking. If the disciples had such excellent treatment while the sect was still being built, what about once it was finished? 
The people that left were viewed as fools by the ones who stayed. They were the typical short-sighted people. Zhuangshan Dao sect had the best training grounds, the best resources, and the best geniuses to exchange pointers with. What place could be better than here? That's good. In a new batch, there are always going to be a few arrogant and toxic people that need some wearing in. However, don't worry about it. Our Dragonblood Legion isn't taking in new people, no matter how good their talent is. Right now, your first goal should be to work on your cultivation. Maintain that feeling of crisis and urgency. None of us have any idea when the next battle will start. We have to stay on guard, said Long Chen. Boss, is there anything for us to do? Some brothers are feeling bored lately after having their power rise and only being able to play around with a bunch of brats. How about you bring us for a stroll through the corrupt path? Asked Gu Yang suddenly. Long Chen's lip curled. Guo Ran, you little brat. Why are you making Gu Yang the villain before Gu Yang had spoken? Guo Ran had stood behind him and poked him several times. Although it was out of Long Chen's sight. Guo Ran's actions couldn't escape Long Chen's spiritual perception Novaloon.com He, boss, these words are hurtful. I had Gu Yang say it because other than you, he is the brightest, most dazzling existence in the Dragonblood Legion. Only Gu Yang's brilliance can stand shoulder to shoulder with you, laughed Guo Ran. Everyone looked at Gu Yang's bright and shining head and laughed. Gu Yang awkwardly rubbed his bald head. However, he wasn't angered. His bald head was natural and it was his trademark. No one else had this kind of luster. This was his pride. Focus on cultivating. Did you think that just because there's no movement from Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the righteous sects, the blood kill hall, and the Schwen beasts that they've let this go? Stop dreaming. Although I don't know what they're up to, it's obvious they're just waiting for a chance to eliminate us. The initiative is now in their hands. What we have to do now is work hard on cultivating and accumulate our own trump cards so that we aren't slaughtered when the time comes. Don't be deceived by how much stronger you've grown. Our enemies are getting stronger too. Furthermore, our enemies won't follow any rules. They'll use any means necessary as long as it means we die. We don't have that much time to waste on having fun. Go back and do what you have to do. Long Chen dismissed these battle fanatics, speechless. It seemed that they were in a rush to fight after having their power grow. If they didn't have a real fight, they wouldn't be able to focus. As for himself, he was going left and right, busy with all sorts of things. Just who was the real boss here? Have Chu Yao and the others returned. While everyone was scattering, Long Chen suddenly thought of something and grabbed Guo Ran. Guo Ran clapped his forehead. Aya, that's right. I almost forgot. Boss, Sister Chu Yao sent a letter asking you to go to the Skywood Divine Palace. There's a pageant going on there. Chapter 1616 Terrifying Nail Translator Born to be what pageant? Long Chen was dumbfounded. You can see for yourself. This is the letter Sister Chu Yao sent. Guo Ran hastily handed a letter over. Long Chen opened it and saw Chu Yao's graceful handwriting. The general meaning was that the three of them were very happy in the Skywood Divine Palace, and they were accompanying Chu Yao's master and getting her cultivation pointers. Originally, they had planned on returning after a few days, but the Skywood Divine Palace's Jade Lake pageant was about to start. That pageant was a heaven-sent opportunity for soul cultivators. The three of them were planning on participating, and they also wanted Long Chen to come too. Chu Yao vaguely hinted that there was something inside that could change Tang Wan'er's life. However, the Jade Lake pageant was something that would gather all the elites of the southern Xuan region. Even soul cultivators from other regions would come. Chu Yao and Meng Qi alone didn't feel any guarantee in getting what Tang Wan'er needed. So they hoped Long Chen could come too. This letter was written a month ago. But he had been in seclusion in the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, although Guo Ran had personally taken a trip to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect to tell the seven bosses to notify Long Chen about this as soon as he came out. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's men really were coarse. Guo Ran's words had gone in one ear and out the other. There are still three days, so there's no rush, said Guo Ran. No rush, my ass. Going to the southern Xuan region means passing through the ancient battlefield. Ugh. 
I have to get going right now. When the Xuan master asks where I went, you tell him. Long Chen directly set off for the transportation formation. Looking at Long Chen's departing back, Yu Zifeng shook his head. Boss is the busiest one in the Dragonblood Legion. He's so busy that he doesn't even have time to cultivate. We'll have to work hard so that we don't hold him back. At that time, he won't have to be so tired. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan nodded. Long Chen had done so much for the Dragonblood Legion. They had to work hard. Long Chen's flying boat sped through the air like lightning. He was at top speed. In the beginning, he could go through transportation formations to the border of the southern Xuan region. However, there was no transportation formation through the barrier. He had to use a flying boat. While he sat in the flying boat, Long Chen finally had the time to look through his gains this time. There was a mass of chains. He counted over 8,000. While he had over 6,000 of the triangular blades, he hadn't come up with any concrete plans on how to use them. But since they came from purgatory, and based on the intense aura of death they emitted, they had to be useful. He had three blood essence stones containing terrifying blood essence energy. Compared to the Aldevil monster's essence blood he had obtained back then, the blood essence stones contained many, many times the amount of energy. According to Zikiankian's hypothesis, the blood essence stones were probably condensed of the purest, refined essence blood of the experts that failed to pass through the Nine Springs. A single blood essence stone might contain the merged essence blood of millions and millions of life forms. He had six blood soul stones as well, while he didn't have even one life spirit stone. Those had gone to Zikiankian, while the rest had gone to him. The six blood soul stones should be formed in a similar way to the blood essence stones. However, one condensed essence blood, while the other condensed soul essence. Zikiankian had said that blood essence stones were priceless treasures and could be used to upgrade the Yuan spirit. That really did make them priceless treasures for Long Chen. He could use them to upgrade the dragon blood warriors Yuan spirits. Other than those, he had a lake of death spirit water. That was definitely a treasure for scheming against others. Who could block such a terrifying thing? However, the thing that excited him the most was a three-inch black nail. If Long Chen didn't recognize its aura, he wouldn't believe that this little nail was the huge nail he had taken from the gates of hell. He didn't know if it was because he himself was small when he entered the netherworld, which made everything look big, or if the nail had suddenly shrunk once he had taken it. The three-inch nail had eight corners. The back of it wasn't large, but its front was incomparably sharp, sharper than the tip of a sword. On the surface, it looked like a normal nail. No fluctuations or aura were coming from it. Did it change after I brought it back? Why don't I sense the slightest energy from it? Long Chen was dumbfounded. He lightly touched it. His fingertip brushed over the tip of the nail ever so slightly, and Long Chen felt a burst of intense pain. The slightest, almost imperceptible hole appeared in his finger. This seemingly unremarkable nail was so sharp that it easily pierced his body. It had to be known that his current physical body was so strong that even ancestral items would have great difficulty harming him. The thing that shocked him was that in that instant, his whole body stiffened. He was unable to move at all. Not only was his body frozen, but even his soul had the same condition. Suddenly, a black light flashed, and a saber cut off Long Chen's finger. That finger had started to turn black. Blood covered his hand. Only once his finger was severed did Long Chen manage to let out a startled cry and regain his mobility. His face was pale. This time, he really was frightened. This was the closest he had ever felt to death. His finger fell to the ground. It was pitch black like a lump of coal. That's a nail from the gates of hell. Something that separates the yin and yang planes. It's unknown how many resentful souls and death curses are contained within it. Your guts really are big to stab yourself with it while you're bored. Was it stimulating laughed Evil Moon. Long Chen's heart was thumping. That really had been terrifying. He had almost died. Fuck. It really was stimulating. Stimulating enough to die. Long Chen had to admit that nothing had ever been as stimulating as this. His finger quickly regrew as he circulated his life energy. He reached out to grab the nail that had fallen, but then he suddenly stopped, afraid to touch it as if it might bite him. As long as you don't touch the tip, you'll be fine. 
There's a mystical curse on it, but as long as it doesn't have contact with blood, it won't activate, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded and carefully made a wooden case, placing the nail inside it to avoid injuring himself accidentally. Experiencing something that stimulating once was enough. Looking over his gains, Long Chen smiled. The ancients really were wise. They were the ancestors of noble character and integrity. And I, Long Chen, am not at all inferior to them. What are you talking about? Asked Evil Moon. The ancients said that they would voluntarily go to hell. As for me, not only have I gone there, if I had another chance, I would go again. Long Chen patted his chest with a proud expression. TCH. They were talking about sacrificing themselves for others. While you're clearly just after the treasures in purgatory, is there the slightest relationship between the two? Said Evil Moon disdainfully. The motivation and process aren't important. The important thing is, I'd be willing to go back to hell. Said Long Chen. He looked over his treasures from purgatory with a pleased smile. That expression was one of a pleased petty little person in Evil Moon's eyes. The flying boat was speeding along when it suddenly began to shake intensely. Long Chen jumped in shock and immediately put away the nail. At some unknown time, he had entered a storm region. Everything around him was dusky, and the roar of thunder came with flashes of lightning. I've reached the ancient battlefield Long Chen's expression became solemn. He had reached the border between the eastern Xuan region and the southern Xuan region. This was home to one of the seven danger zones, the ancient battlefield. However, the seven danger zones had now become the six danger zones. One of them, the heaven-devouring forest, had vanished because of Long Chen. As for the ancient battlefield, it had many names. It was also called the Battlefield of Gods. In truth, there were many names for many existences on the Martial Heaven continent. For example, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's original name was the Heaven Splitting Divine Sect that was because it was rumored that the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had been founded by a god, so it had the word divine in it. However, the era of gods and legends had already passed, and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect declined. No one called it the Heaven Splitting Divine Sect any longer. So it became the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. This battlefield was the same. It had once been called the Battlefield of Gods, but later, people had felt that calling it the Ancient Battlefield was easier to understand, as gods were too ephemeral. Damn, this lightning and storm is no natural manifestation. It's the result of loss clashing and breaking spastime. Long Chen was stunned. He was now finally experiencing the Ancient Battlefield. He found that it was somewhat similar to the ancient battlefield in the spirit world. However, the clash of loss here was even more intense. Long Chen didn't even need to try and trace back to the origin to sense these terrifying laws. Long Chen continued through this region according to the path set on the map. He didn't dare to deviate even in the slightest. Any deviation could cause him to lose his life here. He saw countless illusions as he flew by. He saw meteorites pouring down in torrents, stars exploding, giants holding up the sky, a one-winged beast slicing through the starry sky. There were countless life forms fighting intensely. The images were all chaotic. Long Chen focused on controlling the flying boat and did his best not to be affected by the illusions. However, this was very difficult as these illusions were constantly trying to draw his attention. There were several times he almost went off track because of how shocking the scenes were. These definitely aren't illusions. Long Chen was sure that these scenes weren't simple illusions. They were reality. However, those realities came from the past. He sensed anger, despair, fear, and countless emotions within them. After a day, his flying boat finally passed through the ancient battlefield. Long Chen was covered in sweat. It felt like he had gone through a day of bitter fighting. He was exhausted. For others, they could have someone flying the boat while someone else gave directions, allowing them to not be so distracted by what they saw. However, Long Chen couldn't do that. After flying out of the ancient battlefield, he entered the southern Xuan region. He soon saw an ancient transportation formation and flew there. After paying a considerable fee, he was sent directly to the Skywood Divine Palace. Buzz. The formation lit up and the first thing Long Chen saw was a sea of people. Chapter 1617 Giant Crowd Translator Born to be excuse me, 
Can you let me through? I'm trying to join the Skywood Divine Palace's Jade Lake pageant, and I'll be late if I'm held back. Long Chen tried to gently push his way through the crowd, but there were truly too many people. There was no way for him to squeeze his way in. It wasn't as if he could brute force his way through. Brother, you don't have to push. Everyone's the same as you. We're all here for the Jade Lake pageant. There's an extraordinary amount of geniuses attending this time. But you don't need to worry about being late. Because there are so many people. They've extended the registration period. The Skywood Divine Palace has already sent down word that they guarantee everyone will have a chance to register. Said a friendly soul transformation ahead of him. Ah, is that so? Then I'm at ease. If I had known, I wouldn't have had to rush so quickly. Long Chen wiped off some sweat. When going from the eastern Xuan region to the southern Xuan region, few people would choose to cross the ancient battlefield. That was too dangerous. The majority of them went around through the Martial Heavensy Ring. Although the Martial Heavensy Ring was also dangerous, even when encountering the most terrifying sea demons, there was still some hope of escaping. In the ancient battlefield, the slightest slip-up could cost you your life. Long Chen looked around. There was a huge channel in front of the transportation formation. The entire path was packed full of people that stretched as far as he could see. What shocked Long Chen was that all these disciples that had come to register were soul transformation experts. Furthermore, the majority were women. This was Long Chen's first time seeing so many female cultivators gathered in one place. I hear Long Chen was looking around when someone suddenly crashed into him. A woman's startled cry rang out. The transportation formation behind him had activated again, and someone new had come. As a result, this jam-packed crowd became even tighter. A woman ended up crashing into Long Chen out of control. Long Chen felt two soft feelings on his back. Long Chen turned back to see that the woman appeared to be in her late twenties. Her looks weren't bad. She hastily apologized. Sorry. I hear the force behind her was too great. And she ended up pushing up even tighter against Long Chen. Long Chen held his hands high in the air to express his innocence. The woman tried to steady herself. But more and more people were appearing in the back. And she ended up tightly stuck to Long Chen. Hopefully, Wanner isn't anywhere near. Otherwise, I won't be able to prove my innocence to her. Long Chen hastily looked in every direction. If Tang Wanner's jealous eye saw his current state, he would be doomed. However, he quickly realized that there were quite a few women crying out. Some of them were glaring furiously at the men beside them. Clearly, those men's hands hadn't been innocent. Long Chen saw one man laugh awkwardly after being glared at by a woman. He waded through the crowd away from the woman. Long Chen saw that he had a new target now, a woman capable of causing huge waves. Did they come here just to take advantage? Long Chen saw quite a few men with infatuated expressions. He became speechless. Hi, can you protect me a bit? I'm being squeezed. The woman pressing tightly against Long Chen's chest looked up at him helplessly. Only then did Long Chen start fighting back against the crowd, making some space for her. These people's physical bodies couldn't compare to his. If he wanted to, he could charge straight through the crowd. However, this was Chu Yao's sect he couldn't cause trouble. Thank you. You really are a good person, said the woman with a red face. I'll have to thank you for saying that. Only a few people will call me a good person. Long Chen bitterly smiled. At least, in the eastern Xuan region, there was no one who would do so. Oh, you look a bit familiar? Have we met before? Asked the woman. Haha, <laughs> I'm just so ordinary that I look similar to a lot of people. Can you tell me what's going on with this Jade Lake pageant? Why are there so many people? You don't even know this. Are you not from the southern Xuan region? That's right. I came over for tempering and suddenly heard something about the Jade Lake pageant. So I wanted to see what it was about. Then you'll probably be disappointed. There are two requirements to attend the Jade Lake pageant. One is that you must be a soul cultivator whose spiritual strength reaches a certain standard. The other is the vouching of your sect to guarantee your identity. There's quite a fee for attending, and that fee is normally paid by the sect without it. They won't let you in, said the woman apologetically. It's all right, I have my sect vouching for me, and I'm also a soul cultivator. Although I'm just a dabbler in that regard, 
it should be enough to pass. Since this was organized by the Skywood Divine Palace and it was Chu Yao who had invited him to come, he should definitely be able to attend. Otherwise, she wouldn't have told him to come. Long Chen was in the midst of speaking with her when he suddenly kicked someone away, shouting, Are you blind? I'm a man. So what are you touching me for? He had suddenly felt something strange and noticed an idiot behind him. He didn't know if this idiot didn't differentiate between men and women, or whether he had just made a mistake, but Long Chen directly kicked him away. His kick caused a disturbance. That pervert-looking man hastily covered his face and tried to escape attention. That bastard. He touched me before too. He didn't come to register. He's purely here too. In any case, beat him, cried a woman suddenly, also kicking him. Following that woman's shout, a dozen other women immediately came to beat him. The perverted man didn't even dare to retaliate. He could only cover his head as he fled. HMPH, you're this ugly, and you want to randomly touch others? You're trying to antagonize us, is that it? Shouted a mighty woman as she gave him a beating. The perverted man was quickly beaten black and blue. However, he didn't dare to make a sound as he received their fury. After seeing the perverted man being beaten, quite a few other men's expressions changed. Feeling a bit guilty, they became much more reserved. No one wanted to become the next target. There was a saying that a person's accomplishments were three parts destiny, seven parts hard work, and ninety parts looks. This perverted man was a perfect example. Everyone else was fine, but only he was beaten so badly. He used himself to prove that in the end, having a decent face was still very important. In the chaos, Long Chen took out a cloak and put on the hood, covering the majority of his face. Although this place was the southern Xuan region, his fame from the eastern Xuan region was too resounding. Just this first woman had felt him to be familiar. She had to have seen him in a photographic jade. Once the disturbance passed, the line slowly progressed. Long Chen no longer spoke and just silently followed the crowd. Out of the way, just as Long Chen was listening to other people's conversations to see if he could learn anything more about the Jade Lake pageant, a cold shout rang out. Long Chen looked over to see a group of people slowly advancing. Four people were opening a path, while two experts carried a palanquin. Everyone got out of the way, while those that didn't have time were forced back by the powerful auras of the four people. Long Chen was a bit surprised. The ones carrying the palanquin and opening a path were all ranked 9 celestials with exceptional auras. To use experts on this level for such menial tasks showed how high the status of the person inside had to be. The palanquin was closed off with a curtain, and a terrifying pressure came from it. That pressure came not from within the palanquin but from the curtains. The curtains were created from the silk of an 11th rank magical beast, the Earth Heartblood Silkworm. Each strand of it was a priceless treasure that could cut through king items. Rumor was that just 10 300 meter strands of its silk were as valuable as an ancestral item. All the curtains were made of that silk. Their price was unimaginable. There was not one part of the palanquin that wasn't a treasure. Even the poles carrying it were top grade ancestral items. That's the palanquin of Han Fifi. She's the granddaughter of the Southern Xuan region's ancient family alliances branch master. Don't provoke her. She's extremely unreasonable and tyrannical. The woman who had spoken with Long Chen whispered to him. The ancient family alliance? The Southern Xuan region's branch master? Was that so amazing? Long Chen's lip curled. In any case. The Eastern Xuan region's branch master would quiver whenever he saw Long Chen. However, perhaps the Southern branch master would be different. He might be a nether passage expert. That could be why his granddaughter was so tyrannical as to view all the Southern Xuan region's geniuses as nothing. Long Chen couldn't understand these heavenly geniuses who were born with a silver spoon in their mouths. Did people have to act high and mighty in order to feel like they had value? If they weren't high enough. Did they have to trample other people's heads to prove that they were different from others? Long Chen shook his head. Although he felt a bit unnatural, he was past his competitive age. He retreated to the side. However, this path wasn't very large. This packed crowd could only make a six feet wide path. The palanquin was making things even tighter. Long Chen looked at the experts opening the path with ridicule. 
He saw them looking arrogantly at the people they forced out of the way. Did it feel very glorious being the dogs of other people? I originally, everyone was standing out of their way properly. When a woman was pushed forward by the crowd, it was just a single step, but she turned pale. Scram. Although she immediately pulled back, one of the men opening the path raised a whip in his hand and swung it at her face. This man was a whip expert, and his movements were very skilled. His whip was like a living viper, which had countless barbs on it. Anyone struck would be in immense pain. There was also a special poison on it that would cause scars even if heavenly Tao energy was used. The woman turned pale as paper. There was nothing she could do. Blood splashed as a man used his own face to receive that whip for the woman. Chapter 1618 Han Fifa E Translator Born to be a That man let out a miserable cry, causing everyone to jump. That whip had clearly been aimed at the woman. Why would that man suddenly act as the hero saving the beauty? Even if he wanted to be a hero saving a beauty, he wouldn't use his own face to receive it. However, when people saw that his throat was caught in someone else's hand, they couldn't help letting out startled cries. A cloaked man was holding him like he was a chicken. The former had used the latter's face to receive that whip. Even the whipper was startled. Naturally this cloaked person was Long Chen. He coldly said, Is it fun playing such a joke? Now you've experienced how it feels. So tell me, is it fun? Who, who are you? Demanded that man. Previously, it had been this man who had smiled wickedly and pushed that woman forward just as the palanquin was approaching. That woman hadn't been expecting such a thing, and so she had been pushed out. Long Chan had seen it clearly. As a man, he wasn't opposed to pulling pranks, who didn't have a bit of a petty side. However, a man had to take responsibility for his actions. Seeing this man push that woman to be beaten while acting like he hadn't done anything had sparked Long Chen's anger. So he had helped that man play the hero saving the beauty. Who I am isn't important. What's important is that as a man who stands while he pees, you have to bear the responsibility for your actions. If you harm someone, you have to help them bear the consequences. I knew you didn't have that courage. So I just helped you out. There's no need to thank me. Long Chen slowly released the man and patted him on the shoulder. When Long Chen said this, everyone immediately understood what had happened. They all glowered at the man, especially the women. If it weren't for the palanquin being present, they might have already charged forward and beaten him to death. Just wait. The man cried out some vicious words before covering his face and leaving. The woman who had almost been harmed thanked Long Chen, but Long Chen merely smiled and shook his head. You like meddling in other people's affairs? Scram. The expert with the whip was embarrassed at having his attack so easily blocked. Seeing the woman, who had been his original target, thank Long Chen. He was enraged and attacked Long Chen, eliciting startled cries. Long Chen caught his whip. His hand moved so fast that others couldn't even see it. The expert tried to pull back his whip, and the whip's runes lit up. It was a powerful ancestral item. However, no matter what he did, the whip was like a little snake caught in Long Chen's grasp. He couldn't pull it out. You should bless your luck. If the weather wasn't good today, you'd be a corpse. Scram. Long Chen shook his hand ever so slightly. That expert coughed up blood, while every inch of his whip exploded, its fragments scattering through the air. Bastard. You. Pow. The expert's furious roar was cut off when Long Chen slapped him across the face. His head caved in and he flew into the distance. Long Chen's gaze was cold. Originally, his mood was good as he had come to see Chu Yao. His mood was as sunny as the weather. Being in a crowd of so many people made him recall many things of a more mediocre time. However, there just had to be a fool who came to provoke him, ruining his good mood. If the weather wasn't good, or if his mood wasn't good, he'd have long since killed that idiot with the wave of a hand. Long Chen's actions startled everyone and they backed up even further, looking at him in shock. Someone actually dared to attack Han Fifi's people? Just how tough was his backing? What is going on? A female voice came from within the palanquin. It sounded like its owner had just woken up, reporting to the young lady. Someone is blocking the path and causing trouble, reported one of the experts. Then hurry up and kill them. I want to see Brother Dishin already, said the woman. 
Yes. The experts immediately surrounded Long Chen. Brat, although you have some skill, you shouldn't have become enemies with my Han family. To be enemies with the Han family is to be enemies with the Southern Xuan region's ancient family alliance. Before, you didn't know the young lady's status. But now that you do, it's too late. I'll give you to the count of three. Kill yourself. Doing so has two benefits. You'll get to keep your corpse intact. And you won't bring disaster to your family ha 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 ha. Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Even in all his time dominating the Eastern Xuan region, he had never encountered someone so wildly arrogant. Arrogant to the point that it was laughable. It seems you don't know how to appreciate kindness. Fine. You can die then, said one of the experts furiously. All of them raised their weapons at Long Chen. Wait a sec. Long Chen waved his hand. Are you regretting it now? It's too late. I've never done anything I've regretted. So there's no need for you to worry about that. I was just saying to wait because I want to ask if we can switch locations. Killing you here wouldn't be too good, said Long Chen. After all, this was right beneath the Skywood Divine Palace. Chu Yao sect killing people here wasn't good. However, his killing intent had already been provoked. He definitely wouldn't be merciful once he attacked. The crowd was shocked. Just who was this cloaked man? Did he not know who Han Fifi was? He actually dared to go against her. Just as everyone was shocked, within the main palace of the Skywood Divine Palace, four women were drinking tea and looking at the scene on the wall. The four of them were Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, as well as a beautiful woman looking to be in her late twenties. Her hair was tied up in a high bun, and her bearing was natural and graceful. She was the Skywood Divine Palace's master. For Chu Yao, she had sacrificed her youthful appearance. However, Chu Yao had then brought back the Divine Life Elixir from the spirit world which had restored her beauty. Furthermore, she looked to be even younger and more beautiful. When the four of them were together, it looked as if they were sisters. If it wasn't for the difference in their cultivation basis, it would have been impossible to realize the truth. They had been chatting here the entire day. The palace master was extremely experienced, and she would discuss the Tao with them every day, benefiting the three of them greatly. They were gaining new insights and benefits with each passing day. However, the three of them had recently been growing anxious because Long Chen hadn't come even after all this time. When they had seen him appear, Tang Wan'er had immediately leaked up, but after a moment of excitement, she gnashed her teeth. That scoundrel. Who knows where he went all this time? He must be punished. Don't open a back door for him this time. Let him take the test with everyone else and fight for his own spot. That's no good. Long Chen isn't very good at minding his own business. If things get troublesome, it'll be hard to fix them, said Chu Yao with a laugh. Isn't this the Skywood Divine Palace? Would he dare to cause trouble here? Demanded Tang Wan'er. This was Chu Yao's home. Long Chen definitely wouldn't dare to cause trouble here. I wasn't talking about that. You know how outstanding Long Chen is. There are so many women here. Aren't you worried Chu Yao winked at Tang Wan'er profoundly? He wouldn't dare. Tang Wan'er immediately raged. But her confidence flagged. In this world where experts were revered, a person like Long Chen has a fatal attraction for women. Furthermore, he also has that wild and fearless aspect to him. Long Chen is dangerous, and some women are very attracted to that. You want to toss him into a crowd of women? Isn't that like tossing honey into an ant's nest? Laughed Chu Yao. I refuse to believe he's so amazing. Quibbled Tang Wan'er. However, she had no choice but to admit that Chu Yao was right. Then Meng Chi, don't you think he should be punished? He ignored us for such a long time. Tang Wan'er turned to Meng Chi for help. Meng Chi shook her head helplessly. She patted Tang Wan'er on the head. You really are like a child. If Long Chen didn't get the message, that means he's very busy. If he received it and didn't come, it means he had something even more important to do. There's nothing to punish him over. Big sister, why do you always speak up for Long Chen? If you act like that, he'll become completely unbridled. There'll be no way to keep him in check, said Tang Wan'er. Men Chi was always gentle and kind as well as good at understanding others. Oftentimes, when it came to Long Chen, she would do whatever he said. Are you treating him like a child? 
laughed Meng Chi. All right, if you want, he can muddle his way in with the crowd. Actually, if you look at him, he's reserved himself quite a bit. He's quite low-key in the crowd. Look at these geniuses puffing out their chests trying to impress others. Long Chen's intentionally trying not to draw attention. He, it's you, one or, who's trying to cause trouble for him. Sister, you're laughing at me, cried Tang Wan Er. Oh, palace master, quick, someone has to stop Long Chen he's going to start killing. Men Chi suddenly let out a startled cry. HMPH, there's no need to go through so much trouble. You can die right here. Those experts sneered at Long Chen's expression, and their auras began to rise. Long Chen shook his head. Some people were in such a rush to reincarnate. If he didn't help them out, he'd feel bad for their energetic attitudes. Stop. Just as Long Chen was about to send these people to their deaths, a cold cry rang out. A figure appeared in the air. Chapter 1619 Spiritual Test Translator Born to be the one who had appeared was a young woman in emerald green robes. She was one of the Skywood Divine Palace's elders. As a wood cultivator, she gave off a gentle feeling. She was a life star expert. Following her shout, those people stopped, glaring at Long Chen. Since everyone's a guest, why fight with your lives on the line? Young Lady Han, you have a violet golden invitation card and can enter without registering. There's no need to make things hard on others, said the elder while looking at the palanquin. I was sleeping and don't know what happened. Since you've come, I'll give you face. I can't be bothered to deal with him. Let's go. A woman's voice came from within the palanquin. She also didn't want to cause trouble as this was the Skywood Divine Palace's territory. Brat, count yourself lucky. Just wait. Don't let me learn who you are pow. One of the experts said some vicious words as they left, but before he could get them all out, he was sent flying by a slap from Long Chen. You're the lucky ones. Hurry up and scram. Since when did dogs start talking so much? Long Chen was irritated. Did these people really want him to kill them before they would be obedient? Arrogance. You are provoking me, raged the woman in the palanquin. HMPH. A granddaughter of some branch alliance master isn't worth me provoking. Youngster, you overestimate yourself, said Long Chen disdainfully. The most irritating people were the ones like this, who provoked others whenever they opened their mouths, yet cried that others were provoking them when they spoke back. Idiotic. The fact that Long Chen said this showed that he knew exactly who he was speaking to, but he still treated her like this. That shocked everyone. If Long Chen really had such backing, why was he lined up with everyone? People of his level all got some special treatment. Ha ha ha. Good. Then you can be arrogant for now. Once the Jade Lake pageant starts, I'll make you kneel for mercy, laughed the woman in the palanquin. In all her years, this was her first time encountering someone who dared to take that tone with her. Long Chen shook his head. He couldn't be bothered to argue with a brainless princess. Their intelligence wasn't on the same level. Let's go. Following the woman's orders, the others continued carrying her on her way. They glared at Long Chen, but they didn't say anything again. They really had to have something broken in their heads. They clearly could have just flown over if they had such special treatment, but they had to force people out of their way. Was that the only way for them to feel superior in the southern Xuan region? Long Chen was feeling more and more loathing toward that group. He couldn't understand what kind of mental illness they had. He supposed they were just lucky. If the Zhuanshan Dao sect was in the southern Xuan region, he'd have long since helped cure them of their illness. Long Chen sighed inside. The eastern Xuan region had been mostly cured. Did he have to be a traveling doctor in the other regions now? Once she left, the elder made an apology to everyone. She said that everyone should just calmly wait to register, as long as they met the standards they would definitely be able to attend the Jade Lake pageant. She calmed the emotions of the crowd. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I, the woman who had almost been whipped finally had a chance to thank Long Chen. If it weren't for him, she'd have been struck in the face. That scar would have followed her for a lifetime. There's no need to be courteous. Actually, I'm not that good of a person. I just felt angry seeing certain people's actions. So I wanted to vent said Long Chen. I should tell you this. You shouldn't attend the Jade Lake pageant. 
although there are many opportunities during it, that Han Fifi isn't so easy to provoke. Furthermore, a genius from the central Xuan region is attending to Di Xin. Di Xin is the son of the first wife of the master of the full ancient family alliance, Di Long. Not only does he have that special status, but he's also extremely terrifying. There has never been anyone who has managed to last longer than three exchanges against him. He's an unimaginably terrifying Empyrean. Here are a few travel expenses for you for coming this far, but please leave now so you aren't implicated, said the woman sincerely. She handed Long Chen a spatial ring. When he looked inside, he saw over a thousand spirit crystals in it. For a rank seven celestial like her, that was probably all her savings. Long Chen couldn't help smiling slightly, his heart warming. He never asked for others to pay him back for helping them, but he did rather care more about whether they appreciated it or not. If on the other hand, after he had saved her, she had stealthily slipped away, acting like she didn't know about how she had implicated him, that would make him feel uncomfortable. Di Long? Why does that name sound familiar? Long Chen suddenly felt that this name was familiar. It seemed that it had been brought up before, but he hadn't been paying much attention at that time. Now that he heard this name again and learned of his status, it seemed his position and cultivation base were not any inferior to Kujinying. Thank you, but I have to attend the Jade Lake pageant. I can't leave. As for Dishin or Han Fifi, I'm very curious about just how much ability they have to be so arrogant. There's no need for you to worry about me. My life is quite tough. Long Chen smiled. Of course his life was very tough. He had even charged out of purgatory. As for a little Jade Lake pageant? Insignificant. The woman couldn't help but sigh sadly. She didn't bother trying to advise Long Chen any longer. The crowd continued onward. After half a day, they arrived in front of a huge gate. Some people were busy registering the participants and allowing them to enter. Long Chen saw that everyone needed to show their identity plate and also get their spiritual fluctuations tested. They were confirming whether the participants met the standards of soul cultivators to enter the pageant. When it was Long Chen's turn, the female disciple who received his identity plate only stared blankly. She looked up at him. Sorry, you aren't from the southern Xuan region. What? Can't people from other regions also attend? Asked Long Chen. This was different from what he had expected. If people from other regions weren't allowed to attend, then what had he rushed over here for? Wait, no, that Dishin isn't from the southern Xuan region either. Why can he attend? Raged Long Chen. Don't panic just yet. Geniuses from other regions can attend, but in order to show consideration to the people of this region, the test standards for them are increased by a hundred times. I hope you can understand said the disciple politely. A hundred times? All right, then test away. Long Chen was confident he could pass. Quite a few people were shocked that Long Chen came from a different region. There were very few disciples from other regions that had the power to attend the Jade Lake pageant. The test was something only a few strong soul cultivators could pass, and to have its difficulty increased by a hundred times made it almost impossible. For natives, their soul value must reach 10,000 points to enter. As for you, you'll need to reach 1 million points at least. Dishin also had to take this test to enter, so we aren't being biased. Of this, you can be sure, said the disciple. If he can pass, then I can too. Just test me. Long Chen shrugged. As soon as he said this, someone laughed. How shameless. Does he think he can compare to Dishin? Laughable. Dishin is a peerless heavenly genius. A little puppy can't compare to him. Little people shouldn't say such big words. Added another. Clearly, Dishin's fame was quite great, and there were quite a few supporters of his in the crowd. For Long Chen to say that he could also pass had immediately caused quite a few disdainful snorts to ring out. Long Chen ignored them. How do I do the test? Normally, we just need to use the spirit testing stone but it caps out at 20,000 points. You'll need to use the spirit testing tablet. The disciple waved her hand, and a 30-meter tablet appeared behind her. There was a red line carved onto it with red liquid flowing within. Along the line were several clear lines marked with numerical values written in immortal characters. When that tablet appeared, startled cries rang out. 
The very first mark is a hundred thousand, while its maximum is one million five hundred thousand. Is there really such an existence in this world? Didn't they already say that Dishin passed? He, Dishin practically isn't human. Hopefully, this guy won't fail to even reach the first marker, or it would be too embarrassing as he covering his face because he's afraid of embarrassing himself? At least he made his preparations first. Long Chen had a hood on, blocking the upper half of his face. As for his identity plate, only the female disciple had seen his name there. The others had no idea who he was. They thought he was wearing a cloak to act mysterious. Yaoer, are you sure that Long Chen's spiritual strength can compare to Di Xin's? If he embarrasses himself, it'll be difficult to let him in, said the Skywood Divine Palace's master within the main palace. Palace master, don't worry. I understand Long Chen's spiritual strength the most. Di Xin had a soul value of 1,200,000. Long Chen will definitely score higher, said Meng Chi confidently. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er had great confidence in Long Chen. They knew just how monstrous his spiritual strength was. To start the test, place your hand on the spirit testing spot. You can unleash your spiritual strength there, said the disciple. Long Chen nodded and placed his hand on a red-colored square sensor stone. The countless mocking voices made him smile coldly. The spiritual strength in his mind see surged out. Chapter 1620 Soul Value Off the Charts Translator Born to be as Long Chen's spiritual strength surged, the red liquid in the tablet began to fluctuate. However, even after several seconds, it didn't climb at all. Ha ha ha, he probably can't even reach a hundred thousand, and he acted so big. How laughable, didn't he compare himself to Di Xin? I've never seen someone with such a thick skin. If I were him, I'd kill myself right now. Seeing that the red liquid didn't move, the sharp-tongued people immediately began to add on insults. Long Chen didn't say anything, but the disciple testing him coldly said, The spirit testing tablet is different from the spirit testing stones. It doesn't finish the test instantly, which is why we don't use it normally. He needs to use his spiritual strength to make the soul blood liquid inside reach a boiling point before it can start rising. That usually requires half an incense stick's worth of time. So if you don't understand, don't randomly speak. You only reveal how ignorant you are. Those mocking people's expressions immediately became ugly. The surrounding people were all looking at them disdainfully. HMPH. So what? I don't believe such a person has a soul value of a million. He's clearly just wasting time. Quibbled a man. It's moving. Just at this moment, the red liquid representing his soul value began to rise. The disciple standing beside it was shocked. In just five breaths time, Long Chen had made the soul blood liquid inside reach its boiling point. That was absolutely shocking. Even Di Xin had used over ten breaths time to reach this point. This not only represented that his soul value was double D's sins, but it also represented his terrifyingly powerful spiritual strength. Just at this moment, within the main palace, the palace master became shocked. Long Chen's spiritual strength, is it even greater than yours? Meng Chi Meng Chi was a pure soul cultivator. In truth, her spiritual strength had mutated strangely and could no longer be classified according to normal standards. As for Chu Yao, she was the disciple that the palace master was fondest of, to such a point that the latter had been willing to sacrifice her longevity and beautiful appearance to make up for the fact that Chu Yao had missed her golden cultivation time. As a wood cultivator, Chu Yao had both plentiful spiritual yuan and spiritual strength that wouldn't lose out to her masters. When Men Qi had arrived, the palace master had been shocked to find that Men Qi's spiritual strength was even greater than Chu Yao's. That had already filled her with disbelief. As for Di Xin, his spiritual strength hadn't surpassed Men Qi's. He had only reached the same level as Chu Yao. In truth, Men Qi's spiritual strength was the result of Long Chen cutting off a portion of his own spiritual strength, creating a spiritual seed for her. That was what had resulted in the mutation. Chu Yao's soul value had been measured at 1,370,000 points, while Di Xin had reached 1,350,000 points. It could be said that he was equal with Chu Yao in this regard. However, 
Dishin had been holding back at that time, but in the same vein, Chu Yao had only measured her soul value a few months ago, and it had now increased by quite a bit. It was just that she hadn't tested it again. In any case, their spiritual strength should be on the same level. However, Men Qi's soul value had reached 1,490,000 points. She was at the top of all of them. On the other hand, Tang Wan'er was left out. Her soul value was only 57,000 points. In the outside world, this was incredible. But compared to these monsters, she was clearly much inferior. When they had tested themselves, even Men Qi hadn't expected Tang Wan'er's soul value to be so low. However, she was a very brute force kind of fighter, so it was understandable. Nevertheless, Tang Wan'er couldn't help feeling disappointed. Her emotions were always written all over her face. She felt inferior. Hence, they had called Long Chen over mainly for Tang Wan'er. They had to fight for one of the many opportunities in the Jade Lake pageant that would increase Tang Wan'er's spiritual strength. This was also why Tang Wan'er was so anxious when Long Chen arrived so late. She wanted to get back at him for it. Hearing the palace master shocked cry, Men Chi merely smiled. She looked at the scene on the wall. The red liquid was still rising. 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. As Long Chen's spiritual strength circulated, it continued to rise. The surrounding experts all stared in stunned silence. It had to be known that a normal cultivator at their level had a soul value under 3,000. After all, Spiritual strength wasn't the only kind of energy used by a cultivator. In truth, when fighting, cultivators had to merge the essence, chi, and soul together. Those three things represented their physical strength, spiritual yuan, and spiritual strength respectively. Those three types of energy had to merge together to unleash magical arts. Different magical arts required different proportions of energy. For the majority of battle skills, Unleashed with weapons or fists, the proportion was normally 4, 5, 1. In other words, 40% came from the physical body, 50% came from spiritual yuan, and 10% came from spiritual strength. There was also another aspect known as the body, mouth, and will. When unleashing one's greatest power, the body moved, the mouth made an incantation or shouted, and the will guided everything. The three worked simultaneously. When experts fought, they would often shout loudly what move they were using. In truth, that wasn't used to show off or frighten their opponents, but the result of this body, mouth, and will aspect. When they weren't united, it would reduce the power of the attack. In fact, if things went awry, the energy might simply explode in their bodies. There were plenty of cases of people crippling themselves due to the body, mouth, and will not working in unison. Shouting the move had a mental effect, and it allowed the essence, chi, and soul to flow through the requirements of the move naturally. This was one of the iron rules of the cultivation world that no one could change. Some moves had different proportions of energy. For example, Long Chen's double dragon destruction, starfall, and other magical arts usually had a proportion of 1, 4, 5, 10% physical energy, 40% spiritual yuan and 50% spiritual strength. In addition, he had to summon Lai Long and Huo Long's energy. Such a magical art required much more spiritual strength. Without spiritual strength, there was no way to keep the magical art stable. It would just explode in the body. People, whose spiritual strength was lacking, couldn't unleash such techniques. They were all normally close-range fighters while those with powerful spiritual strength had no problem fighting at long range or short range. All attacks with a huge range, especially ones with shocking areas of destruction, required a massive amount of spiritual strength. That was why a genius's soul value was a very important decider of their talent. The Skywood Divine Palace's Jade Lake pageant required participants to be at the soul transformation realm and have a soul value of 10,000 points. That made countless geniuses cry in private. Even Empyreans wouldn't necessarily have such powerful spiritual strength. And if they didn't, then not even Empyreans would be allowed to attend the Jade Lake pageant. Seeing that Long Chen's soul value had reached 400,000 already gobsmacked countless people. On average, 
The people here had a soul value between 10,000 and 30,000. A very small portion might be able to reach 50,000. Those who could reach 100,000 were as rare as a phoenix feather or killin' horn. They had the power to look down arrogantly on all the others. They had heard of people possessing a soul value in the hundreds of thousands, but they had never personally seen one. So all their hearts were pounding as they watched the red liquid slowly rise. Those people who had mocked Long Chen before were the most shocked ones. They felt a burning sensation on their faces. Worst of all, they had even been criticized by one of the disciples of the Skywood Divine Palace for being ignorant about the testing process, making them now look both stupid and laughable. As Long Chen's soul value continued to rise, their faces burned hotter and hotter. It was like each increase was a slap in the face. 500,000, 600,000, 700,000. As Long Chen's soul value continued to rise, everyone was deathly silent, staring at the tablet as well as that mysterious figure. Eventually, Long Chen's soul value reached 950,000. However, there, it suddenly came to a stop as if it couldn't progress any further. That made countless people sigh in disappointment. It had actually been a failure in the end, and it was just a little bit off. That was regretful. Ha ha ha. Didn't I say that he wouldn't be able to do it? Now, do you see it? Isn't he still a failure in the end? How could he compare to Di Shin? HMPH. He's a far cry from him. Does the light of a firefly dare to compare with the light of the full moon? The people who had mocked Long Chen immediately sighed with relief and began with their insults once again. It was like Long Chen's failure was the result that they wanted to see the most. Their wish was finally fulfilled. The disciple testing him couldn't help feeling that it was regretful that he was just a bit off. She encouraged him by saying, Sometimes people's spiritual strength fluctuates when they're panicked or in a rush. You can try again after studying your heart. Thank you. Long Chen smiled. There's no need to waste the time. We're not amateurs. We know the test requires unleashing all his spiritual strength. Doing so is exhausting. And to do it right after it will multiply the difficulty. There's no chance for him. Laughed a disciple. You. The testing disciple glared at that person irritably. However, what he said was true. If one couldn't make it, then after tiring themselves out, it would be even more difficult to pass the second try. There was really no hope. However, for him to say such a thing before Long Chen had even tried again was irritating. What do you understand? HMPH. What if I actually manage to pass? Will you eat the stone tablet? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Haha. <laughs> if you succeed, we'll eat the entire stone tablet. But if you fail, you have to kneel and lick our shoes. Do you dare? Over ten people immediately raised a bet with Long Chen. All right. Then I'll bet with you. These were precisely the words that he had been waiting for. The red liquid that had been stagnating suddenly bloomed with light. Spiritual strength surged forward like a tsunami. And the red light soared. Boom. The red light reached the peak. And then the entire stone tablet exploded into fragments. It. It's off the charts.